Have a, this this is actually an amazing title screen. Have a look at this title screen. I love that so much. Isn't it great? <laughs> oh, All the different Doom so guy faces. Beautiful. The um oh and then the uh the low res uh, credits screen. The pineapple under the sea um speed mapping sessions are not something I'm super familiar with, but I do know that they have 12 rules um for their 12 days of Doom Mist series. 12 hours of mapping, 11 shotgun shells, a 10 sector limit, 9 pain elementals, 8 brainy spiders, 7 former humans, 6 power spheres, 5 arch files, 4 cyber demons, 3 damage floors, 2 key cards, and 1 big fucking gun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I think the, those are like the things that are required for each of their of the maps in this uh, in this set. Blue Pineapple actually did PM me and there was like a musical bit where we were going to sing, everyone was going to sing the 12 Days of Christmas, but with Doom stuff. I don't know if that part ended up happening, but man, that was, yeah, I remember thinking this stuff looked cute when I got a glimpse of it back then. So I'm really keen to check it out, like, it, properly. Absolutely. Um, I am personally pretty freaking scared of four Cyber Demons, five Arch Files, and nine Pain Elementals in every map. Um, also, there is actually... It's, it's, I'm gonna. I'm very curious to see how the 12-hour mapping limit clashes with the 10 sector limit, because uh, those two things seem pretty. Uh, like one is gonna encourage short maps, and one is gonna encourage a little bit longer maps. So let's. Oh, and <laughs> I wanted. These are all uh, boom compatible, by the way. Um, oh, okay. All right, cool. So we'll get some cool effects, possibly. Yes, I'm hoping so. Um, but check out the difficulty settings. Also, Silent Night, Bambi mode. Satan's little helper, Satan Claus, and Hail Santa. <laughs> I love those classic. Those are the classic Christmas difficulties. I love those so much. Oh, there have other wads used these before. There's the Christmas Doom thing, which I sort of like spruced up like five or six years ago, and it had like an old Christmas Doom. Uh huh. And yeah, those are uh, those. I love those though. They're so they're so funny, man. Hail, Hail Santa, Santa. <laughs> cracked me up. <laughs> well, Satan and Santa are uh, anagrams for each other, which is. I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm Claus. not saying is I'm not saying Satan is Santa Claus, but I've never seen the two of them in the same room together. They both are red, and they both wear suits, and uh, they both have minions. Both oh, give well, gifts to to little children to lure them in, you know. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get to it. I confess I have played this first map before. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, I love the sound effects, too. The, uh, the Santa Claus is our zombie man. Yep. Check out these pain elementals, dude. Yeah, I love these. These are the, this is the classic Christmas tree assets. Oh, these. So wait, you know about these already? Oh yeah, these are all like it looks like this is mostly reused from the uh, Christmas Doom wad that I now I did a lot of compilation of like six different wads from 1996 or so called Christmas Doom. Yeah. And like I just compiled every asset into one and cleaned them up as best as I could and made everything as uniform as I could. But you know and then about the Z Damon guys. But you know about the pain elementals being Christmas balls and the Cacodemons being Christmas balls. Yes, I love them so much. That's incredible. And I, I mean, I, I figured they didn't come together just for this project, but it's so, so funny. When I first opened that up, I was, couldn't stop giggling. Oh, God, yeah, these Christmas assets are so fun. I, I've always, and these maps look really good, too, actually. Like, the actual architecture is really cool. But, man, it looks tough. Yeah, I was say, there's already a cyber demon here. Um... I think there's a BFG around here, hereabouts. You do have a BFG. Oh, I, you're, yeah, you're right. I'm an idiot. You I got picked that up right at the beginning. Probably shouldn't keep this, yeah. I probably shouldn't keep that. Um, <laughs> I This map killed me a lot in uh, my... This is the only map I'm going to play with practice, and it killed me a lot in practice. So that does not bode well for my trip through this one. Uh, well, I think I actually do want to mention the textures were from like a bunch of the Z Damon guys. I think it was 
the quick and bright guys or something. Anyway, they did like the snowified versions of the textures, which is really cool. Yeah. So like, man, it's it's bringing all those assets together has really made it feel so nice. It's very cozy. We run these assets on Duango too. Remember, we had the Duango death patches. That was so fun. Of course, yeah. That's where I know most of these from. That's where I know the, uh, the snowy shotgun and the, uh, the bulk cell covered in snow. Like all, all the, yeah, all those good things. The, the weed plant HUD. <laughs> yes, the weed plant HUD. I gotta lower the volume on the game sound because I, I want to be able to hear the music, but the Lost Souls are here just kind of coughing us right now. Not the right word, but. When in doubt, I thesauricize. Dude, they were cacophony. Dude, cacophony is a bunch of, like, horrible sounds. And I will say, a bunch of lost souls hissing, that's a pretty horrible sound. It is, but I thought cacophonous meant, uh, more, was more to do with, like, oh, that's right! That's right! <laughs> Look at these! They're shooting, like... I don't know, they, like, turn into snowballs when they hit. I love the cactus. Oh yeah, that's right. They're just adorable. I don't know. Yeah. Right, I think we gotta go here. Yeah, oh, the like, cactus even balls. Do they make the shatter sound? The imps throw snowballs, just straight up. <laughs> There's so. Whenever you kill the cacodemons, demons, do they make the glass smashing yes, sound? Yes. Yes. That is fun? just amazing. I, again, I was just cooing over that. I'm so glad you liked that, man, because I added that smash sound. Oh, in. you did? It wasn't there in the old Christmas Oh, tomb. that's perfect. Yeah. It's so perfect. I love it. I love it. Um, the only thing I got to say is a little bit too much, is, that, and, and this isn't probably even your fault, um, the, the Merry Christmas, everyone! Ho, ho, ho! Is both a very long sound yeah. effect and very loud. Um, so <laughs> I mean, it's funny, but... Um, if the volume was lower, like, it wouldn't be so bad, but God, it's <laughs> ear-piercing. <laughs> yeah, when they shatter, that's just... Ah, oh, it's just... Uh, it's so great. I can't describe yeah. how great this is. Or Dude, it's so is. satisfying. It is. I absolutely love it. Okay, so here's the hardest fight. It's like four Archfiles and three Cyberdemons. Like, right at the end. And two Arachatrons. I neglected to mention this first map is by um, Dragonfly, who made of Eternity. Oh, yeah, that's why. Look, I was gonna say the architecture is really good. And remember, they're limited to um, to just ten sectors. Well used, very well used. Indeed. These I, cyber um, demons, they look like something, they look like a, a recolored cyber demon you would use to get. <laughs> you know why? It's because I did that. You, no way! These are your cyber demons? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I know you too well. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, you can sniff out Doomkit assets a mile away at this point. I would rather not sniff Doomkit asset if, if, if you don't mind. <laughs> 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 All right, we're not you that can close. You smell butt <laughs> from a mile away, dude. Come on, BFG. What? Oh my god. That's so disappointing. Now, for people watching, do keep in mind, we're connecting from Southeast Australia to Northeast USA, so whenever I speak over Mount Payne, it's just because of the damn lag. <laughs> it's probably more me speaking can't, over you, to be honest. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. It can't be helped, but it's... Well, I think we said this before, um, in one collaboration or another, it's kind of enough of a miracle that we can... Oh! Well, I accidentally Holy exited. Holy crap! <laughs> that is a really cool... I love that intermission screen. It's actually really cuddly, first of all. Doom guy got a super shotgun, a chain gun, and a, and a medic kit, and a regular shotgun for Christmas. There's some health bonuses on the hearth. But also, I, I'm absolutely enamored with the fact that uh, Kills is slays. <laughs> 
97 percent <laughs> slays uh presents or is a good uh retitling for items i did not get any gifts though no secrets um so since this is not a regular Dean of Doom episode, I'm under no um, requirement to get 100% kills, and I forgot that. Um, I can leave whenever I like, so I think I will. Um, yeah. Um, and we want to co come up with grades collaboratively if we can. Um, <laughs> sure. Considering the limitations, that was really good. Hmm, letter grade? Oh, it's really hard. I mean, these are uh, these are super low key. I would probably give it like a. Uh, my, my first impulse is like a B minus B. My first impulse is a B plus. So All right, well, let's 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 level it we, out or B should, then. Do it in, let's do individual grade. Let's say like you know. Um, okay. Sure. Dean's grade is uh, B minus. Doom Kid's grade is B plus. Perfect. Perfect. And difficulty wise, um, that I mean I'll, I'll grade difficulty because I'm the one playing it. I guess. Um, that's actually yeah. Quite, I can't tell. That's quite a tough map. I'm probably gonna give that a B plus no a minus because that last fight is really nasty and if i were forced 100 percent it i'd have to t i took a bunch of uh, different attempts um yeah my, my first gripe right off the bat is too many pain elementals there's just way too many pain elementals to have to deal with um yeah if you want to fight against way too many pain elementals you need to load way too many super shotguns otherwise it's just a, the ratio is not you know as right all off. right the ratio is off um I did get a BFG right away, which was nice. Let's see. Let's go to the next map. That one's um, next map is called. And oh, that was bloody hell. It's cold out here. Um, Santa Incorporated. <laughs> the next one is called um, Santa Incorporated Headquarters by Dan Lex. I actually. Nice. Whoa. I must have died um, before the last map. Uh, 325 enemies. Nice. So um. So cool. Dan Lex is well known for his slaughter stuff. Whoa. This is going to be pretty intense, I think. And we are required to get a BFG. Wow. <laughs> there are five arch files and nine pain elementals. Oh, the pinkies. Wow. The pinkies have hats that fall off. Oh, it's so fun. You know, I have a, um, a little bit of trivia about a handful of these middies, including this one. Uh -huh. The probably I would say about six or seven of the middies that I picked to go along with the Christmas assets were um, included in a game called Pack Guy, not Pac Man, but a bootleg called Pack Guy <laughs> that was for like Windows ninety five and ninety eight, uh, and this okay. was one of them. It's fun to hear the that midi that I heard in that game years ago on such a really well built looking map like this. It's so cool. Like I actually do love the. Um the curvature here and uh I, I mean these trees are artfully placed they they're they're like so overwhelming to the eye though like the whole level gets frozen um except for the trees <laughs> oh right right oh yep it's time to go oh my god well i guess it would be frozen it's pretty cold looking it does look pretty chilly okay this is just gonna get crazier isn't it well we got all the oh, arch files what the hell are these what the fuck are those? Oh, the little Wolfenstein SS dudes. But they They're blow the little, up. Um, but they blow up. Did you see that? They're little French gnomes, yeah. But they blow up. <laughs> they explode like, um, what do you call it? Like, a, like a, oh my god, what am I trying to say? They explode like kamikazes from Valiant. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where's the, where's the arch file? Oh my god, come on, man. See, this is what I was a little worried about with this set, was the, the requirement to put five arch files and so many pain elementals. <clears throat> Has the potential to completely destroy subtlety. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I don't know if I could handle this. I well, do think, though, there's always pressure. This, this is the harder one. I've heard that the, that the next one is easier. And there's fewer maps, of course. I wanna, let me find out what those little dudes are called. They're so funny. The garden gnomes? Well, they had a name. They, they come from an old 90s vlog. Let me, uh... Oh, really? Yeah. They're called... <coughs> Lutins. Lutins. They sound like bats when they die. 
Oh, it's, the whole text file's in French, I can't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. Go. What is happening right now? Oh, okay, so this was by... Wait, they leave, like, mushroom yeah. corpses when they die. Is it some of them yeah. are... Okay. Some of them explode, and some of them leave mushroom corpses. I think. I think it depends on how they die. Like, if they get up to you in Kamikaze, they explode, and if you shoot them, they leave a mushroom. It's something like that, I Interesting. think. Interesting. Okay, so this is an extremely... Um, this is a visually and uh, gameplay-wise extremely uh, chaotic and cluttered experience so far, I must say. I'm enjoying it more with I you here. I'm not sure how far I would have gotten without you. <laughs> I'm so glad. You know what? I will say I love the visuals, but the difficulty looks way above my skill. Well, it's because they decided to put so many, um, so many damn vials in here. Oh so, my oh, goodness gracious! Just... Look at this. Oh. Uh, oh my God. So where are these? We, we're we're the Doom Marine with uh with no pants. <laughs> Those are Commander Keen replacements. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is too funny. I'm I'm so glad to have finally properly looked at this. I spend way too much time developing wads and not enough time playing them. This is amazing. They're farting. <laughs> These are Commander Keens. That makes a lot of sense. So they need to all die, I guess, for the whatever... Uh, Thing to lower to probably finish the map off. Oh, one of them is dead. One of the masterminds is dead already. Holy crap, these are funny. Oh, yeah, I, I used those shit. years. I woke up the cyber now. demon. <clears throat> shit. Okay, so explain to There's, me what the what the hell the farting keens do and what they're for. Okay, so. Those came from okay. Actually, let me get the, the little goblin dudes, the little gardeners. Those the text file says in English. This is a French author speaking. It says yeah. in English, Lucan would be should traduce by something like imp or goblin. Um, I don't think those doom imps look like my Lutin, which cracks me up. <laughs> I have no clue what you just said. To be totally honest, it's BFGing and farting marines and. I'm taking shitloads of damage. <laughs> this is total anarchy. I really don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's too funny. It's already one of the I messiest will... projects I've ever played. I will... Okay, so those underwear marines were called Pantless Dudes, another wad from the 90s. Okay. And I remember... <laughs> I left a review on this thing. I love this skin so much. It's so funny. People still use it in deathmatch servers to this day. And then someone responded to me, so I was like, So, Doom Kid, you love pantless dudes? And I just, that response sticks out in my mind. <laughs> you love pantless dudes? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit, that cracked me up. That, you kind of walked right into that one, I gotta say. I do, I do, you know, how else could I express my love for that funny skin, though, you know? <laughs> I guess. Too many cyber demons. Cyber demons and masterminds and marines with very upset stomachs. Can you jib them? I can't remember. Keens? I don't think Keens have a jib state now. Oh, I well, I mean, I did the I did some dehacked work for the um, Christmas assets, so yeah, it looks like they don't though. It does not appear so. Yes. All right. Well, we did it. Oh, arrow. Nice. Well, I think Dan likes it his best. <laughs> really cool. I honestly love the visual. That one was nice and simple. The comedy was there. I totally agree. It was, it was very funny. I think I'll give that one an A-. minus. Oh, I'm going to give that one like a solid B. Because the gameplay looked completely frustrating. Like, I just... I gotta be honest, you know, it's not about... I don't like... I'm not that... I'm not a super player. So stuff that that's, that's that hard isn't my cup of tea, but it's balanced out by the great comedy and the really cool visuals. I thought the visuals were awesome as well. 
So it, it evens out to a rock solid B for me. I'll, I'll downgrade mine to a B plus because I, I forgot about the the silly like having to spam the five vials at once. That was a little bit. I mean, it wasn't impossible. I wasn't giving it my all. Um, but <laughs> Dan likes definitely kind of through the kitchen sink at you, and I had no idea what the gnomes were all about. I wonder if we'll see them again. Because that was very bizarre. The Lutins. That's okay. So whenever you were getting like shot and exploded from multiple different directions, the read me for the little the little goblins were made in 1996 by a French author. Okay. And he was saying like, in English, Lutin should traduce something like imp or goblin. But he's like, and he says, Erm, I don't think those doom imps look like my Lutin, which cracks me up. Look. How do you spell Luton? L U T N. L O U T N. L S T L U T A, like Luton. Uh, I'll play you back the audio later, but it sounds like you're like L A U A U A U L U L U L U T N. Read that. This is funny. Why did Idsoft call these monsters? I don't think these doom imps look like my <laughs> looks like my Luton. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get on to the next map. You know that your boy man with gun is in this wad, right? And the next one. Oh, cool. Um the next map is called Two Useless Keys by Dynamite Ktorn. Ah, oh, yes. Well, we are in Wolfenstein, and it looks like we actually have a normal start for once with the super shotgun. Oh, lots of Santas. That's good. I like killing Santas. Yeah. I encourage the viewers to, to crop that uh, that quotation out of context. Use it how you will. I like killing. Santas. Yes. Mount Payne's anti-Christmas stance. How could you, Mount Payne? How could you? Uh, bah humbug. <laughs> <laughs> so when it said, I think there's a requirement for it to have a certain number of um, soul spheres and mega spheres, but I honestly don't know if if they like discriminate between the two of them or if it's just like a certain number of power ups are required. I don't know. Right. Oh my goodness! Look at all those lutins. Look at all those Lutins! Luton. Those Doom Imps don't look like my Lutin. You're gonna be saying that all night, aren't you? <laughs> your, your, your new favorite <laughs> funny word, French man. mapper. Okay, what is this map? It's all 90 degree angles and there's Nazi shit. It, it's a Wolfenstein <laughs> snow map, but I don't really... I guess to like... Because they had so few sectors to use, they're like, you know what, I'm gonna make a Wolfenstein map. Yeah, but like, this could have all- Oh my god, look at all those Lutins! Holy shit! Okay, so we're just massive. Careful, this don't is... let them blow Oh shit, I'm down to my candy cane. Alright, we're good. Go back to the mushrooms, though, go back- Where do these Lutins keep coming from? Yes, there's a whole. Holy shit, there's so many. There's a whole mushroom garden. You right know now. what? Mario would. Dude, I want to fucking. That... That's what... I was definitely not going to make a drug reference. I was just going to play it. Talk about Mario. Yes. You know, eat the mushroom, trip on on acid. You know, that, that joke's overdone, all right? Yeah, yeah. That's. Come on. You're, you're, you're above that. I am above. Well above. Because I got really high from Did... eating a mushroom. That's why I'm well above. <laughs> Doomkit has really it's high bad. standards. So Doomkit has uh, has stoner level <laughs> standards of humor because they're really high. <laughs> uh, I know you're, you're not actually a stoner. Oh, I don't think of you as a stoner, for what it's worth. There was. Did you see that? Was there a missing texture though? Where where? Uh, direct me. There was a recess in the floor where I thought I saw some slime, and uh, I thought I saw an untextured step. Oh, here, yes. The, these, yeah. These are. Huh. I don't think these are textured. On either side. All right. Well, 
Little mistake there. That's oh point. well. That's These things stuff. happen. Yep. And there's there's our cyber demon quota being met. Um oh BFG, thank you. What's going on here? Lots of oh 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 oh. We got a little uh, Christmas party going on and five arch files. Holy crap! Yeah. So suddenly this is fucking sunless. <laughs> That's what it seems like. This is totally ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Wolfenstein and Christmas and sunless got thrown into a blender, and this is what came out. Yeah. It's uh. Well, actually, this isn't so bad, because the monsters are just so chaotically attacking that they they don't know what the hell's going on, and the cyber demons are killing everything. Just gotta watch out for the arch files. You better watch out. You better not cry, either. You better not pout. The cyber demon will blow your brains out. <laughs> 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 That's how the rock goes. You better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. Because the cyber <laughs> evil. <will> <laughs> That's a left hand turn that the right the songwriters weren't expecting us to take back in the day. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. I know I don't have to actually stay and finish this, but I'm gonna try. Especially if they give me more cells. Ooh, it's an invuln. Merry Christmas, everyone! Oh, Merry oh, oh. Christmas! I've got Christmas spirit for everybody! I hear you've been a very bad cyber demon boy this year. Fruitcake, eggnog, presents. When was the last you know time what? you had a piece of fruitcake, Dean Kid? Dude, I don't like fruitcake. I've never had a piece of fruitcake in my life, so. I just want you to tell me with a straight face that people still actually eat slash consume fruitcake on a regular basis for Christmas. I don't think I think that's a that's a modern day myth. I don't. Yeah, it's really weird. Like everyone would prefer it literally any other sweet. Honestly, I think. Yep. Apple pie or any number of things. I actually I liked that one at the end, but it was pretty crappy before that. To be honest, the uh, kind of right angles, the missing textures, the Uninspired architecture, somewhat boring fights. I mean, I'm, I don't, I didn't hate it. The end, the ending was pretty fun. I'm gonna give that one a C minus. The Wolfenstein uh, homage actually is kind of cute to me. Maybe it's just because I'm a Wolfenstein 3D fan. Maybe. My... Yeah. And um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give that one. I feel bad saying pretty rough it, but I'm gonna have to give it a D plus. D plus sounds fair to me. Um. I, I, I'm being, I'm being generous this Christmas. I, I don't plan on failing any of these maps, nor would I want to. I, it's so pretty. It's so warm and just oh, it makes me. Want, I look forward to Christmas Day looking at it. Honestly. Exactly, exactly. The next map. I'm having a little of my own special eggnog right now. Oh, nice. Wait, like actually eggnog? No, not really. <laughs> what is it really? <laughs> Oh, just like a little, like a little light beer for lunch. Oh. That's all. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to say it for the recording. But it's bullshit. You should keep it in, honestly. It's not even close to eggnog. It's just alcohol. I know. It's <laughs> utter bullshit. That's why I want. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the next map is Overcast Christmas by Telemassacre. I've never heard of Telemasker, have you? I've seen them posting on the forums at least a couple years ago. Maybe not so much these days. Alrighty. Only 34 monsters. You know what? That is something I can get. By. That's something I can jive with. But that also yeah, means that yeah. that also means that 14 of those monsters have to be uh, cyber demons and arch files and pain elementals. So we'll see how this uh, shakes down. I cannot express how much I love these Kakademons. They are one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Such great sprite work, honestly. I know. Like the shattering animation looks great, and I'm saying I'm I'm, sh I'm shocked that they didn't have the custom sound before you put it in because that's just that's the icing on the cake. It makes it perfect. 
If, for, if it's any, um, cr like, if it excuses it any, it was done in 1995, the sprite itself. So they probably didn't know the tool to replace a sound effect. I think it might have been that much. Well, it's it's just, it's. I love the sprite work, to be honest. The fact that they were able to interpolate the Cacodemon into a ball like that and uh, recolor it and do the shattering, it, it, it looks great. Um, I do want to comment, though, that I got the yellow key right here, and there's a yellow door, like, right here. And then there's a switch with a... This is just, just an extremely rudimentary, rudimentary oh, map. So oh, boy. Why not just be a door? Why be, Why bother with the key? Well, because the keys this are... Does, this looks like 1994. Oh, this is really bad. Um, because, the, I mean, the, the reason why there's a... Um... <clears throat> Wait, what is this? Can I grab these? Yeah, it's a requirement for the uh, for all the gifts. The yeah, you need to get all the stuff. The, yeah. Oh, then I can't remember what the lyrics were. They're very cute and funny. Lyrics? What are you referring to? Oh, where it said like three, you know, three oh, 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 oh. The, golden yeah, keys, the... two small spears, or whatever the hell you don't know. Yeah, you, you need two keys. That's that part of it. Is my understanding. Oh, there's a BFG. Thank goodness. All right, well we're halfway through. But only one cyber demon out of. Oh god. Still got a blur sphere on. Alright. Blur sphere. Blur sphere. Oh, so it's the old skull tag. Yay! Yes! An invuln. You're my hero, dude. This is by far the lowest effort thing I've seen in this project so far, though, because look at this. As he just crammed all the monsters that he had to fix. Like, all the, all the monsters he needed to get into the map physically, he crammed into the last room, gave you an invuln, and, uh, that's it. That's the whole, that's the whole map. <laughs> Just that's, brand new to mapping. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's not great. Um, Baby's first map. That's yeah, surreal. I can't fail it for that reason. It definitely does seem like, uh... It was accepted to uh, because he finished the map. I mean, kudos to him for finishing a map and submitting. Um, I am probably going to give. I'll that give one him a, a D minus. A D with a uh, a D, but also with a check plus next to it. Um, I think we're going to go with a difficulty of uh, C. That wasn't very. That wasn't very hard. The only hard fight was the the vial at the end. Yeah, C minus even. My only note for that one will be Baby's first map. Moving right along. Um, I have no idea even what this is or what this is referencing. It's called Corva Tunturi Massacre. I have no idea what Corva Tunturi is, but um, it's by Mumi. M-U-U-M-I. Um, he did a map for literalism that I really liked, so... Oh. I'm actually pretty optimistic about this one. Corva Tunturi, you see? Oh. I had the wrong thing. Map five. You still there? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. Oh, shit. Check it out. It's oh, a Christmas party. Oh, this looks party. interesting. It's a very exciting Christmas party going on here. Is this the Naked Gun theme? It might be. I am actually not familiar with the Naked Gun theme. I know the Naked Gun, but I wouldn't have the theme offhand. This is so funny. This is really fun. It fits, too. It actually fits perfectly. These colors are great. I'm really enjoying the craziness. Just the screaming the midgets everywhere. Sin. Dude, the Archon of Sin gargoyle thing is really funny, too. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's cool. I still love that the Imps throw snowballs. I think that's the, just adorable. We haven't seen enough yeah. Santa hat imps, to be honest. Dude, the Santa hat, hat imp is a classic right there. Let's, you know what? It, always more popular in the multiplayer scene. Ever since I was a kid, it's been a tradition for some server hosts, not all, but some, to put like Christmas themed wads up uh, during you know December. Yeah. And so I saw a lot of these assets when I was young, and it made me love them. And I just, like I say, I piled them all together, and then. The beautiful Pineapple Under the Sea crew used it to make some awesome maps. Absolutely, man. I'm really enjoying these. Like, map and quality be damned. These are just fun to look at and fun to be in and uh, playing through. I don't know. I'm really, really liking this. 
Oh, there's a BFG. And a few of them actually are. Oh, this one's great. I, I'm. This one's crazy. Oh my god. He blocks there with a cyber demon and a whole lot of. Uh, what do we call these guys again? Loot. Looty. Look. Lutins. Lutins. Now, to be fair, the Opit called it a Christmas gnome. Oh, no, I'm just slid. The little, the little gnome just the mushroom slid. Did you see that? It was really funny. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. The spider mastermind must die. Actually, I probably should have turned him against his minions. Or her against her minions. Whatever you prefer. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, Honestly, shit. I'm, I'm surprised I'm playing like this coherently. These assets are very distracting. Just the, the different colors and oh, sounds and... The music is so loud compared to the volume, like the gameplay volume compared to what I'm used to. It's quite a... Uh, it reminds me of Doom Guy trying to run through like a crowded, a Christmas mall, yeah. like and all this stuff's in his way. And, you know what I mean? Like, well, this is probably one of the strangest of all Doom Guy's uh, adventures that led him to uh, Doom Eternal. You know how uh, Doom Eternal essentially canonized all of the Pewans. <laughs> that's great. I'm glad. That's of all the silly things in Doom Eternal, that is one thing that I really love is that they canonized the Wads. Yeah, but like. The if this is part of it, then this is definitely like Doom Guy has. This, this is why Doom Guy doesn't speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not because it's terrible, but because it's just so strange that he's he's reached a new, a new level of uh, surreal. Dude, he's visions beyond. Oh, he, it's well beyond anything we can comprehend at this point. For sure. I want to know what these. What is this symbol? They're cool. Those little symbols are really cool looking. DX is that DXO? I wonder. That's what it seems like, but I'm, I'm or, just. Or is it just like meant to be alien symbol? I, I have no clue. It could it could mean anything. I. <laughs> it is unknown to me what they are. Oh, I just noticed there's um some more symbols. There's a that's oh that's wonderful. Look at that. It's a Christmas tree and a jumping reindeer on the table. That's so cool. It looks like a, uh, yeah, that's really great. A nice placemat or um, tablecloth. Rather. Tablecloth, yeah. Really cool. All right, so we got the red key. I just realized that actually opens this door over here, where probably the rest of the monsters are awaiting. Whoa. Son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so many gnomes. <laughs> oh no, the little lutins. So many lutins. No. Marsh file. No, that's... That is death. Let's try again. Try to use fewer BFG shots on the cyber this time. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Die in the Christmas tree. <laughs> Well, you wake up with a doom guy under your tree. A dead do Yeah, you know what? Every demon wants a dead doom guy under their Christmas tree. That's an excellent point. <laughs> That's what they always hope for. Most of them don't even make it home for Christmas, though. <laughs> That's the, the morbid truth. <laughs> <laughs> Poor demons. You feel bad for them, really. Eh, not really. <laughs> they are homicidal. <laughs> Flesh-eating monsters, after spoken all. Looking like a true, looking like a true Doom Marine. Indeed. All right. I really like this one. There's actually a lot of detail, a lot of detail, and it's all fun detail. Just look at that. This is really cool. This like Christmas dining area. It's really nice. Tons of decorations and like it's full it's, of Doom Guy got for all the demons. Yeah. It's like. There were decorations when we walked in, and then we created more decorations with all these corpses. <laughs> all right. I think I've collected all the gifts I need. Let's roll into... Oh, right, the Lutins. <laughs> hey, wait, is that blue ball floating? What the hell? It's, uh, it on it's suspended from the ceiling. Oh, no, it, actually, no, it's floating. It's definitely floating. I think it should be hanging from the ceiling. That's probably a Z Doom glitch, to be honest.
This feels wrong. Killing all these <laughs> innocent <laughs> creatures feels wrong. Oh, oh. It's so funny. <laughs> just so, like, all they want to do is wish me Merry Christmas, and I'm Merry. just massacring them. Oh, it's time to wreck some uh, <laughs> Christmas balls. I should have grabbed these first. This is by far the best use of the cyber demons I've seen so far. They're the least, like, over the top. Oh my god, look at all those cacos. Oh yeah. That's, that's insane to me. Huh? Oh my god, dude. What is going on? Sorry, am I coming through? Yep. Yeah, like, wow, like, so I, much detail, all these cool little symbols and stuff. I need more That's ammunition. really clever use of I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're if just down to the chain gun, damn. You to... I don't need a arch file here at the end, dude. Screw this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm out of here. Um, Running for my life, oh my god. Through, gun him down. That's a Baron. That's oh, a fuck. that's a um that's a oh my God. escape proof. Holy shit! This is Sorry, apocalyptic. I'm like, I'm like ten seconds behind. That Baron is so cruel with just a chain gun. No, no, I... no, 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 no! Don't. Oh my Damn, God. No. Well, okay. I have a new strategy. The new strategy is this. <laughs> Immediately takes shitloads of damage now. Um. He, no, there you go. You got that uh, soul sphere. The Rudolph sphere. The, yes. Alright, I think well, if we kill enough cacos to get past them... There's gotta be more rockets, doesn't there? It feels like there should be. You're just down to your smaller guns now. It Maybe sucks, it's possible man. that these are not. I mean, I I, sir, I haven't even played these before, so it's possible that they're not meant to be hundred percented, or that the map author didn't really give a shit whether or not you could hundred percent it. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just use At this point. It's about shit. A path shit. That exit. Yeah. Fuck. God. Car, damn it. Can we get? Them? Fuck. Damn. That was so frustrating. Damn. I took too much damage in the beginning. I think I got it this time. I'm gonna just ignore the uh, cybers. Oh, God fucking damn it. I mean, I do kind of want to kill them. Because they're such a pain in the ass. The cyber demons, I mean. Maybe skipping them and the BFGing those. I've. You know, I the arch and the baron. Yeah, there is there there are sufficient cells for me to kill all them. Oh, okay. Or or I could get the cyber demon to infight all the cacos for me. That would be fun. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's some infighting going. That was really, really unfortunate. Oh, shit. Had to waste there that. you go. What oh, the oh, hell? Fuck. Wait, where did I go? I backed up. I went the wrong way. Oh, you can go back. Oh, shit. You can go back that way. Okay, I'm going to save. Yeah, fuck it. We're going to save. Um... Yeah, you do have some DFG left. Okay, you know what? That's garbage. <laughs> Shut up. That sucked. <laughs> Don't hit me with another Baron, you bastard. Wow. Okay. That was very harsh. Whoa. The By far the most fleshed out map so far. I really, really liked it, except for the ammo famine at the end. Not really ammo famine. I was being a little bit rammy with the Cacodemons. 
I think that was probably intended to be like one of those um, infight puzzles where you coax the cyber demons into infighting the caco swarm. But I didn't really want to do that, so I'm not going to penalize the map for my um, impatience. I'll give that one a B plus. I like that one. I thought that was pretty cool. I like the way, like you said, it was a nice, long, fleshed out map. The the details in it, the really cool um, uh, tablecloth that had like the reindeer and the Christmas tree. That was such cool detail, you know. And uh, I do think that, honestly, a couple more BFG cells, and I would have liked it more, but I see what it was going for there. And, uh, yeah, no, that, that was cool. That was cool. I'll def I'm going to give that one uh, an A-. minus. A- minus for Doomkid. Um, difficulty, that one was probably the hardest one so far. I'll give that an A-, minus because I think pound for pound it was... It was probably about the same difficulty as Dragonflies, um, but Dragonflies was a little bit shorter. Um... So basically, yeah, mm. they, like they're the same level of difficulty, but one was a little bit longer than the other. Still not a long map, only seven right. minutes. The next map is called Xmas Malfunction by Tova. Oh, oh. Oh. And this is a, isn't this, didn't Lee Jackson uh, not necessarily compose this MIDI, but I feel like he was, um, is this from Rise of the Triad? I wouldn't be surprised if that's true, although I'm not sure personally. And it's God rest you merry gentlemen, but it's like, oh my god, there's 374 monsters in this map. What have I gotten myself into? Yeah, I recognize the actual melody, but like, I, I can't help but wonder, uh, I don't know if it's, for, I, I don't know if it's like a Rise of the Triad remix. Uh, the reason why I say Rise of the Triad is because I believe Civi uh, has used this track in one of his videos, and he likes using Lee Jackson music. It is. Listen to that brass. That is definitely Lee Jackson. It's good stuff. I like this. The map and the music. It's a great combination. Am I coming through at a reasonable, like, rhythm and clarity? Yes. Just to make sure? You actually are. There have been a couple times where it's been a little bit slow, but... Whoa! Every once in a while I get little bursts in my ear of, like, our audio crisscrossing, but, um, overall better than I expected. Good, good. This map looks really cool, man. Like, the structuring here is very clean, yeah, considering it is. all the limitations. I definitely agree. Are there spiders in the walls? Spiders in fake walls, that's, a uh, paddling. <laughs> Oh, I got a super shotgun in there. Come on. I actually played Stardate 20 XD6 today before this, and I thought that was going to be, like, sufficient prep. <laughs> and so far, it's like... It's like I'm playing two different games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense, I guess. The, you know, the theming is really different. The vibe is really different. I think there's... I, I have the IDT cheat on by accident, and I believe that's a hedge maze that looks really unpleasant. Oh, God, no. The classic wolf 3D maze. Still looks really nice, to be honest. The whole thing. <laughs> I just crack up every time I see the cacos. It's so funny. They're so round and smashable. And they got the, they still have that silly grin on their faces. No. <laughs> Unintentional innuendo for, uh, especially for people living in the UK, I think. You know what I just said? What did you say? Smashable? I was thinking, like, well, I said they were round and smashable. Oh, like, smash, yeah. Smash them with a hammer. Yeah, no, but, but smash like, is like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's like sexual... It has sexual connotations. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you heard it here first, folks. Doom Kid has a uh, cacodemon fetish. Dude, that's it. They're, they're round and smashable. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> What's worse is he likes them when they're Christmas decorations. So it's, <laughs> he's got a Christmas kink on top of his... <laughs> on top of wanting... <laughs> wanting demons. <laughs> 
This is what happens when you spend too much time around Doom, you know? Around Doom, kid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just realized the jib sound is Merry Christmas, everyone. Yes, that's right. Okay, so <laughs> whenever the Archfile resurrects something, he goes, Merry Christmas, everyone. He's giving you a present. <laughs> a present that's... that you don't want. <laughs> I don't want it at all. <laughs> he didn't give me the receipt with it either. I can't return it. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I expect from Archfile. Lousy gift givers. They give the demons the gift of life, though. Oh, shit, there's Cyber oh, man. One. This, this... This MIDI and texturing combo is really fun, and this map has actually been really well made so far. I agree. It's very nice. Um, it's got something of a, like, there's been so much gray in this one so far, so it was nice to get all the brown and colorful decorations in the last map. But this one is, uh, it's very sharp. It is. It's good. It's, the decorations help to offset how gray the texturing is, honestly. Like, yep. not just, I don't mean that against the wad, I mean that against the, the assets. you know, the texturing was, the texture pack themselves. Yeah, exactly. Not loving the rocket duel against the cyber demons is pretty perfunctory, but whatever. Classic, classic uh, E1, or E2 M8 battle. He's even immobile though, so it's kind of like, even less work. Oh my god. And here we are in Hunted. Yeah, that's pretty. It's a, uh... Oh, okay. Um, which way do I go? I thought it was going to be like a maze or something. Oh, there's a fake wall here. Fake wall alert. Oh, nice. Well found. Oh, cool. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so there's... We're getting a sneak peek for later. Careful with that rocket launcher. Lol. At least I use my rocket launcher. Hey, I use mine too. Just carefully. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm just kidding. I actually blow myself up with it constantly. That was a not-too-subtle, uh... That was another not-too-subtle innuendo from Doom Kid. Where his rocket launcher is uh, <laughs> means something else, <laughs> and blowing <laughs> blowing himself up means something else. <laughs> yeah, my rocket launcher is ready to blow. <laughs> oh, no, stop! Oh, no <laughs> uh, there goes the uh, there goes our show's PG thirteen rating. Monetization, which Mount Paint doesn't use anyway, is just gone. <laughs> yeah. I love a good platforming puzzle in the middle of my Christmas-themed wad with revenants on the other side. Bah, humbug! Oh, I can't believe I pulled that off. Thoroughly pleased oh, with myself. Perfect example of, like, I have, I still don't quite know, unless I listen closely for the sound, whether or not these are Hell Knights or Barons. Obviously, those were Hell Knights because I could hear it right in front of me, but it's the, the green ones are Barons. Yeah. Oh, this is not... I don't like this. It's a frozen computer maze. Oh no, maze. this is the wolf maze. Frozen computer maze. Not a huge fan. Let's see. Blur sphere. This is the. This is one of the things I uh, say not to do in my, like, things to avoid for new mappers video. You know what I mean? 64, 64 <laughs> wide... For good reason. Yeah, 64 wide corridors and mazes and, and shit like that. Yes, exactly. And armies of uh, Lutins. That's that's rule number seven, right? Lutins. Ten million Lutins. Yeah. Every time I see them, I get re excited. Actually, it's good that I found armies that of Lutin. So many. Um, Hit scanners. Holy shit. I really like that the the chain gunners are green too. You know what I mean? They look, makes them look like they're uh, sporting their elf gear or something. It actually reminds me of Combat Shock 2. Because <laughs> that's 
they all, they use uh, gr green <laughs> chain gunners and compact shock too, so it's not an entirely pleasant association. Well, it is a pleasant association because I love that wad, but it's like it preps me for you know I, I, I brace myself when I see them. Right. Green chain gunners. Those were also used in Rowdy Rudy Two. Not one though, oddly. Right, you had two varieties of chain gunner, uh, the silver and the red in Rowdy Rudy 1, correct? Yeah, that's right. And then two, it was just the green ones, I think. Mm -hmm. A lot of the marines were green in that one, I think. Yeah, all the camo, like, whenever they were in the jungle map, having all those green marines was so, was a cool camo feel. And you know what, speaking of Rowdy Rudy, Pineapple Under the Sea has done Ru Rowdy Rudy themed um, pus projects as well. So yeah, I remember. It's really, I think they, they've. Been... I heard about that one. Oh, there's one thing I always want. Whenever I'm making a wad, I always think I really hope the community reuses these assets over and over again. And so I'm very thankful that they have been used. The Christmas ones and Rowdy Rudy ones and. And others as well. Well, I, I can second that, because at least for, for these Christmas assets, this is a really entertaining project so far. Just because it's, it's, it's seasonal and all the right... It's like schlocky in just the right way. Um, where Halloween-themed uh, wads... Fucking hell. The Halloween-themed wads <laughs> that I played are... are Fun in, in, the, in that you know that spooky kind of way, but I think the um, there's sort of a I don't know. I'm not gonna leave this in. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like how they all feel like part of that sort of uh, the Christmas doom family of one. Yeah, there's, there's a lot that are really good. It's a Christmas uh, like tradition sort of thing, and beautifully brought together by your. Your texture pack, your resource pack. This is um the Doomer boards one. I know there's like Santa's Outback Bender that was fun, that, or the Doomer Bards crew ones as well. There's those, those are really fun, and there's a, no, a few other Christmas themed ones I've seen. Fuck! God damn it! Uh, Stop is... shooting me! Stop it! Please! Holy shit! Your mic definitely peaked just then. Yeah, I know. I don't give a shit. <laughs> There's a pain elemental over there, lurking. <laughs> and another. I don't have a BFG yet. That's a little unpleasant. Ah! This platforming is no, not, I'm not mean. a fan of this stuff at yeah, all. Yeah, this is really mean, dude. Two cyber demons, like, it's already hard enough that I have two cyber demons to deal with, and I think this is a death pit. <laughs> no, it's not a death pit, but it's... If those were, like... It's a pain pit. Two revenants Wait, or look, two barons, that would be bad enough, but two cybers? There's revenants over there fighting the cyber demons now, what the hell? It's fuck. Yeah, like, th those could be replaced with smaller enemy types, for sure. Yeah, no doubt. This set is hardcore. I feel like if they were two barons, because the Revenant would have the homing missile, which would be annoying, too. Yeah, Two barons would be fair there. Two barons would probably be, like, hurt me plenty. Um, two revenants would be... Like, three revenants actually would be perfect. Because it would make you move. Look at this! Too many homing missiles! Look at this. You know, likey homie missile. Good God. What is happening? This is a slaughter wad. This is an actual slaughter wad. Yo, yeah, that that was like, like... Christmas you know, slaughter. slaughter amounts of... Yes, red and green. It looks like Christmas. Just like John Romero wanted. That is right. Oh, I was actually... I couldn't tell. I was looking at just the... the, the... The muzzle flash, but they use your uh, your deathmatch sprites, which are awesome. The alternating. Yeah. yeah Wait, the sprites themselves alternate. Do the sprites? Them yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, please. I just want to get to the next part. I don't want to die over and over again. It's Christmas. Yeah. It's like that. Dude. This is really.
really fun. I actually really love using this plasma rifle. Yeah. I kind of wish it was possible to do the Alpha Doom way, where it's like a red ball and a green ball, but it's fun having the sprite flash, too. Oh no, it's awesome. It looks great. I'm gonna try to get rid of these guys first. I was close to having the muzzle flash alternate between red and green as well, but I just, I'm just keeping green. Well, I'm sure you could do that. It would just, like, you know, change the, the firing color in the animation frames back and forth. But uh, it wouldn't be perfect, because yeah. it's like an uneven cycle. The plasma gun has very unique coding to make the frames play randomly, unlike any other gun, which is really cool. Yeah. And it looks good. I've always liked the way the plasma rifle fires. In um, PSX Doom, I think it just does a standard chain gun like animation, which works perfect. Really? But I, I like the PC one. You know what I mean? I had no idea. I know nothing about PSX Doom. I could be misremembering. But I know some ports do play it like the chain gun way, and which is still fine, but you know. Now that I've cleaned this up, I really like this fight. I uh, was rushing headlong. It looked fun. Yeah, yeah, lot, lots of uh, lots the of the visuals here. Again, you know slow. what? This is this is too hard for my liking overall. This whole lot, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely but, hard. Um, it's a fun. The theming and stuff makes it really fun, though, you know. And, and and there's a lot of creativity on display. I think. Absolutely. I forgot about the Arch Files. I really need the Arch Files to stay where they are. Good God. Honestly, it's got the best, like, monsters per square foot ratio, I think. Like, this is... Yeah, you know, it makes sense. This this number of monsters makes sense for this amount of space. I'd agree with that. Everything's populated, but nothing's like super sparse or yeah. super over like like a crowded. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's not like ridiculously um, overstuffed. Are you guys gonna attack the spider or what? What the hell? Is this the one? Is this the same map? Like, how long have you been playing? Can you hit... Can you pause and hit the auto map? Like, just to yeah, see how one, long it's one, been? 15 minutes, yeah. We've been playing this one for a while. So this is the same map where I said, Wow, this one looks really clean at the start. Yes, it? it's the, yeah, it's the same map. This one's taken longer to play than, like, 11, like the last three. It's like, they moved straight to the pictures out. It's a bit too long. Sorry, can you say that again? This is, this is the same map. It is a little too long. Yeah, this is the same map that, um... This, this map is probably taking longer to play than the, than the previous three combined. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's very well made, though. I would say it's just a little too long to play, but... Man. They've, they've used this. They've managed to stretch the assets so well to the point where... I wouldn't have even known it was a limitation. If this was just like a single map release with a Christmas theme, yeah, I wouldn't have even known it had a limit. I I agree with you. It's... It is frustrating though. This one is taking a little bit more of my patience than I wanted to offer. But again, I'm putting my own yeah. like limitation on that. If I, if I was, uh... ah, I shouldn't be such a Grinch. <laughs> That's my conclusion. I love the revenants with the hats. We need to find a map that the heart makes sure it grow three sizes or whatever. <laughs> yes. Okay, I killed one of the arch files. There's only 16 enemies left. We, we got this. Next up, gonna kill this cyber. Chain gunner. Okay. You know what? 
let's not be in a retentive and let's just exit. I think we did it. Wow. Okay. That was oh, oh my. by That's far just by far the longest and most thorough map so far. That was very enjoyable at intervals. Um, I did not like the platforming in the middle. And again, this, these are all superficial, like first time reviews. So take these with a grain of salt. Um, the ending, once I got across that platforming, that first uh, slaughter section was pretty great. And the second one would have been, um, like I like that they, did, they didn't, you know what? I just realized I didn't get a BFG. I don't think. Did I get a BFG and just not use it? Was I that stupid? I might have to check the footage. No, no, you didn't. I, I saw, like, I remember at least, like, ten minutes in or so. I looked. Well, there was definitely a BFG. Like, there was definitely a BFG that I missed because that's one of the requirements of this project. Well, any stretch. BFG. What's up? Oh, uh, I think you... Did you have... You, you had one at the end, though, didn't you? Sorry, I need you to say that again. You had a BFG at the end by the end of that map, didn't you? I, I, again, I don't know. I might have to check the footage. Um, I think uh, it's it's a requirement of the project to have give the player a BFG, and I, I didn't see one. Um, I am I going think, to... Um, I... Oh, I just realized, sorry. Trudging through the snow, you take well, a moment to ponder. I agree real quick. Let me, Let me give... Oh, sorry, read it again. I'm going to stop recording. I was like, "What? Why is everything on the screen? Why is the like blocking part of the video?" Like, it was so funny watching someone who had no awareness of the social media landscape and like the fact that they're trying to clone TikTok and appeal to sugar-addled fucking twelve-year-olds. Like, yeah, yeah, but but it's also sad to see just... how many people that I respect in the YouTube community, I guess you included now, uh, go the shorts route or try to make a short or just like see what it's about. It's like it's it's semi it's semi appealing, you know what I mean? Like it's not a completely stupid idea to most people. I just wish it was. It didn't have to be so different from watching a regular YouTube video. Well, it's, it's, they didn't have to take away my full screen and put shit block in the video. Well, That's and how, how, how about the vertical? It has to only be vertical. Like it's it has to be it's only phone resolution. Oh, which is really stupid. But at least if I could full screen and I could get and get that crap out of the way, I could sort of see what was happening. But like, no, it has to be small and like crunched in the middle of my monitor. Why? I want to see the full fucking video. Yeah, I'm thinking about. The like twelve hours of just grinding away with like bags under my eyes at Sony Vegas. Tell me about it, man. And and, and yeah, of course, I know I'm preaching to the choir. In fact, you're I'm I'm the choir boy preaching to the actual priest. But anyway, like <laughs> yeah. Whereas yeah. you never you've never made a low effort video. Nah, on your channel. Nah, no, I have, I have. You you are sh POV. You are Sean Green. Well, it took me. Oh, you, that was your. You know what? That, that was, like, was your shorts moment, dude. That, that was to be honest. And actually, it, it it would have been automatically turned into a short had I released it um, when the shorts were a thing. But uh, that took me about uh, fifteen minutes to make. <laughs> and that had like what eight, nine thousand views. Yeah, it's right? got more views than our fucking chat and frag, which is just stupid. That's what I was thinking. In Tale of Doom wikis, at least there'll be a little bit. It'll be a. It'll be a chicken nugget. If I, you know, I always say things have a meat on the bone. Uh huh. At least there'll be some meat there. It'll be one satisfying bite of meat in the short. No, I actually, I'm, I'm looking forward to. I, I, I'm actually quite looking forward to it, and I will probably watch it more than once. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, there was a BFG. Was there, there's, totally... there's the BFG. This was. Oh, and, and an invuln. Oh, I needed to find the red key. Where the heck is the red key? Yeah, that was 18 in game too. Like you actually were playing it a lot longer than that. I think it ended up being like 25, 20, 27 minutes in the in the recording overall. It was way too long. It was really well built. There was a lot it had going for it that was great, but it was way too long in the tooth. I I tend to agree, and I'm going to exit now. Xmas malfunction. That was by um, Tova, and. Uh, I think our overall impression of that was positive, but I, I wasn't a huge fan. Like, it started off nice. It was, as Doomkid acknowledged, um, pretty crisp, pretty nice looking. Um, I didn't like the computer maze, that frozen computer maze. Do you remember that part? Yeah. No, it was, it was very cool. Like, it had a lot going for it. Um, and then the platforming in the middle was pretty rough, especially across the uh, the pond from, like, two or three cyber... Was it? I think it was Cyber Demons. 
That felt very unfair. Um, and then the slaughter section at the end, I obviously could have made easier on myself if I had the red key. But, okay, sirrah, sirrah. I think my final grade for that is going to end up being a B. How about you, Doom Kid? I'm going to have to go with a B minus just because I'm not trying to put it down. The map was really cool in a lot of ways, but that's so, that's so much length. I just, I can't, I can't approve of it. <laughs> Fair enough. Especially like a, it's a speed mapping uh, thing. And I think if I had exited a little bit earlier, I had, I wandered around for like two minutes at the end. Would have been about a 16, 17 minute clear, which compared to the others is like three times longer. Next up, we have a frosty gift hunt by Piero, another mapper I have not heard of. Oh, and a text screen. I had not even thought of this. Trudging through the snow, you take a moment to ponder, these levels have continuity? No, of course not. This is a speed mapping project, not a storied megawatt. Get over yourself. Anyways, see that tech base up there? Yeah, that wintry looking one. The gifts those evil Santa men stole from you are in there. What's that? You want them back? Well then, have at it, friendo. I like this narrator. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny as hell. Snowman. Oh. Got the uh, little... I want to say Good nut, old nutcracker. nutcracker. That was the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas rendition of Oak Christmas Tree. The text file, by the way. <laughs> I like this. This is very moody. It's like a Christmas in a Russian bunker. <laughs> I am getting one frame, like like two, three seconds per frame right now. Uh, just so you know. Well, we might have to readjust our connect. What? Ah, uh, that's not good. Okay. Yellow. It's Malpane Twenty Seven here with some Christmas Doom. Oh, is that Big Mac Davis? Hey, dude. It was like <laughs> I sort of tried my Big Mac Davis. I can do better. I've done I've done an ex I'm known for my my excellent Big Mac Davis impression. Are you? Oh, okay, all right. I need to hear it then. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, we've got a frozen channel here and some candy canes. They look delicious. Um, <coughs> let me see where to go next. Well, there's some shotgunners there. I guess I'll just shotgun them down and move on to the next thing. Come here, you silly arachnatron. <laughs> That's all I got. I can't. I can't improv no, anymore. No, it was, you, were, you were actually like, I was actually like starting to feel like I was actually watching a Big Mac Davis video. I because I think we have a very similar register, and I, I he does like the the announcer voice, you know, the voice that kind of goes deeper, and you have a little more control of the up and down, like. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. That's the voice I'm putting on for my uh, Doom Wiki video. <laughs> I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> um, but that's, I, I, um, I, uh, Decino's uh, impression is very bad, and I think my react, my uh, impression developed sort of as a reaction to his. Uh, oh my god! If you did like, dude, what would be really funny? Cut that I don't part know out, if please. I <laughs> don't. You were, we're cutting this part out. <laughs> don't don't use this in the stream. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to malign Decino's impression of Big Mac Davis. It's just kind of like. 100% of the items. Like, that's what that's his. Dude, he can't help. He's, he's <laughs> fucking Dutch. <laughs> he's trying, I know, but. Alright. It's so funny. I don't want to go, go any further until you say your piece. Oh, no, okay. I totally forgot because that was actually so funny. It doesn't make about me. Let me, um. Let me try getting. Let me swap my internet. I'll okay. Give a minute. Okay. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? Holy shit! Sorry, a random archfile just... There was nothing happening on the screen for... I, I want to say two minutes, and then an archfile just showed up. That was terrifying. Holy shit. I just saw him out of the corner of my eye, and boom, he just appeared. It was very eerie. I almost think he was, like, timed or something. God damn. I've been in this map for four minutes and done virtually nothing. That's happened to me before. Sometimes I get a jump scare still in old Doom, even to this day. Well, I've never stood in one spot and done nothing and had an arch file just randomly appear, like with no noise, no introduction, no nothing. That was very, very weird. Yeah, yeah. 
So this is definitely like the eeriest map so far. It's Christmassy because it's got the Nutcracker in the background, but it's... it's yeah, the Tetris music playing in the background. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? The Tetris oh, music? Oh. And the Nintendo version of Tetris, which was a very common version, the music was the Nutcracker. Really? Oh. Yeah. You learn a little something new every day. It's funny because like the, it didn't have the classic Tetris theme in it for whatever reason. It had the Nutcracker instead, yeah. which is really weird. Okay, let me let me do this. Alrighty. Well, and if it doesn't work, we just roll with what we got. Maybe it'll magically improve as we go. Yeah. Christmas miracles are are known to happen in occasions like these. Wow. I forgot that every time the Archfile resurrects something. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> Dude, this is so lame. It's the exact same on my phone internet and home internet. Ugh. Well, I'll also sort of narrate as we go. I've encountered two of the Archfiles already. Uh, the second one oh. almost got me. I remember what I was going to say that would be really funny but might not earn you much favor, I guess, among the community. It okay, would be well, really funny, though, to be like... That's, I'm no stranger to losing favor in the community. Fire away. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe um, impressions, like top ten impressions of Doom Troopers or something like that. Oh, I can't. I, really I've only got one. <laughs> I, I only claim to be even decent at one. Um, I no, but like, even if they're terrible. <laughs> Oh, you're saying if I did a terrible casino impression, that would be amusing to people? I mean, maybe. I don't know. It's it's just like not just a casino, but like everyone, you know, do one of uh, points that I don't do one of me, do one of uh, doors, you know. Well, uh, one, one of I can do my Doom Kid. You want me to do my Doom Kid? Yeah. How's it going, everybody? This is Doom Kid. How's it going, everybody? This is Doom Kid. I uh, just wanted to say that the uh, the Marines, the GI Joe, they're they're actually GI Joes, not Mussolini. I'm also a total. <laughs> Mussolini. I'm also a. What? what? <laughs> What'd you say? It's not Mussolini. It's not Mussolini. See, that's my that's my Doom Kid impression. <laughs> <laughs> It's accurate, too. The Not subject really. matter was completely on point. Pretty lousy. I need to do a lot of work on that. There's not a lot of health in this map. Give me a, give me another minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, there's this megasphere. Going solo here for a bit as Tim Kid figures out his internet. He recovers from the burn I just gave him. Okay, about halfway through. This is definitely one of the most ornate maps so far. I like the... I like how you can't tell how few sectors are actually in it. Um, really enjoying the music, to be honest. Simple but effective. And I don't have any shells. That is not good. Oh, over here. Gun. Oh shit! Uh, not that way. There's another blue door over there. Ooh. That is not good. There are even more cyber demons, I believe. Oh no, that was the red switch or the sorry blue switch. I have to stop taking damage. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload, but I just noticed you can go hit it this way. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't, okay. Ah, okay, that opens this door, and then we're going through here, okay. Forward progress. Oh my god, and they can shoot rockets through that. That is really mean. Oof. Well, luckily, I should be getting a BFG here at some point. Again, I appreciate the fully-fledgedness. 
again, I appreciate how, like, kind of fully fledged this map is. Um, it's not just, like, a handful of rooms and kind of straightforward slaughter encounters. It's a little more complex than that. Cool. Hey, gifts! Oh! I, just, I see you blowing up Revenant. That's the last thing I got there. Oh, okay. Um, that was pretty recent. I'm, I'm, I'm in the same room. Um, what do you think you're caught up? So, on? what do you think of this map so far? Um, it's. I think it's the most fleshed out and kind of nice, comfy map so far. Um, the aesthetics are really sharp. Lots of uh, lots of right angles again, but I guess they had to um, make sure that they're like. I mean, to optimize their sector usage. So. Uh, I like it. I'm worried about these cyber it's, demons outside. Looks like they did. It's another Whoa. good. People take these limitations and do really interesting things with them. Oh, man. Santa is dead. And there's also an invisible revenant through the. Two invisible. Two barely visible revenants through these ice walls and candy canes. I guess these are like trees or something? Whoa. Lots of, um, <laughs> translucency Whoa. here. Lots of translucency on this map. You notice we're walking through, like, uh, translucent ice. Fake wall. Not really. It's not a fake wall if you can see through the wall. Yeah. That, that paint, I love those paint elemental balls, man. Those are so good. You like paint elemental balls? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the lowest hanging fruit. I actually also love the paint elemental balls and the cacodemon balls. Uh, Mount Pain likes them both. I do. I bat for no, both so teams. Do I. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm just so that's the literally. I love that we're both. If we acknowledge how terrible that joke is from both sides, then maybe it's just it's okay. It nullifies it. It's a, it's yeah. It's only appropriate if you acknowledge that it's just completely bankrupt of creativity and <laughs> merit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Spider Mastermind. Good God, I hope. I wonder if I'm gonna survive this. I might. If I grab the medikits, I did. Okay, but I also probably just wasted a shitload of ammo. Oh, this is also... What the hell? Oh my god. Wait, actually, I might have just created a little sanctuary for myself, sort of. Or trap myself, the way you want to look at it. God damn. God damn! Okay, so... I was thinking this is the one map that didn't turn into a slaughter map, but that is absolutely not true. It's just as much a slaughter map as any other that I've encountered so far. Especially this part, because there's more arch files behind those, I guess, um, ice blocks. Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> yeah. It's arena right here. Get rid of the Mancubi first, actually. Uh, oh, there was, oh, the, the cyber demons can shoot rockets from there. Oh, crap. <laughs> the mastermind was not part of the requirement. I think that's a little bit ex excessive. If you want my opinion. Ugh. You know what? It would actually have been a good usage of it to make it fight the side. Wow, demon. this is so brutal. Because if it was like an ally to you that helps damage the side. And I, I might be able to let him out. There are two side demons on either side. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how to use them. Yet. I think I'm safe, actually. It's funny how much of your unconscious brain you use to um, strategize fights and like how little of it you can use when you're trying to hold a conversation and play at the same time. I'm not sure how, how yeah. streamers do it. It's so, it's so hard. It's a special talent. Okay, that's not fair. The, the cyber demons being able to shoot through that glass is not cool. Not cool at all. I'm trying to clear out those side enemies. Rocket through glass that doesn't smash it somehow. Yeah. It's good old Doom logic. Wow, 
Well, I don't mind Doom logic, but I, would, I do mind Cyber Demons being able to pelt me with their very lethal snowballs. Yeah, more like Boom logic, I guess, in this case. Uh, yeah, indeed. Boom logic. Uh, I blew myself up. It was stupid. I realized boom logic, referring to a rocket being able to pass through something. <laughs> boom logic is there's a, there's a pun in there somewhere, like a rocket. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I mean, like. I love the chip sound. It's so excessive. That one's so... Ho ho ho! It's just so like excited. <laughs> Alright, I think we are finally sort of okay. I gotta go kill this mastermind. Slowly. Oh, shit. Oh, need sh what I want, actually, in this situation is shells. This is fine, but it doesn't peekaboo shoot quite as well. As it can get it can interrupt. Alright, we're good. Huh. <sighs> Here we go. So there should be a oh, right. That there's ten million. Moment. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So now the cybers. I are think free. what I'm seeing is a good bit behind what you're actually doing. <laughs> that I is. Just... Yeah, if you're if you're seeing the the mastermind, then you're like 15 seconds. Behind. No, well, now it's revenants. Now it's revenants. Oh, no, then you're good. You're like you're only like three seconds behind. So I gotta try to kill these cyber demons now. Man, this map is really gray. It's so hard. I know with these textures, it's hard, but I feel like this map is even grayer than most of the other ones. It's definitely gray. There's not as many decorations. But I think the, the trade-off is that um, the mapper um, does succeed at making the architecture more than just, like, boxy rooms. Yeah, it is very moody, that's for sure. It's anything but a dead simple clone, that's for sure. In the, map, oh, yeah. in the map 7 slot, it's uh, not doing any of that. There are more cyber demons outside that I don't have the ammo for. But I'm going to lean hard on that uh, don't have to go for 100% kills rule. There's a switch over here. You hit the switch and run all the way across the room. You can't even hear this door open, but it opens this door. Like, I, I don't know why. Oh my god, no... There's no signal or anything. Well, there's the switch, and then you run around and like, wonder what it does. That's what it does. So. That's shit. I, know, I always put a signal for my switches, or at least I try to. Right, and I, I, it wouldn't have taken much effort on his part. Shush. All right, I think I'm just going to try to find the exit and skedaddle, because I've spent a lot of time in this map already. Mostly my own fault, but all the same. Yeah. Well, the map is a bit long in the tooth. <laughs> I love candy cane stuff. <laughs> oh, boy. Spreading that Christmas cheer all over the place. That's right. One jib at a time. Frosty Gift Hunt by Piero. So, I think that map started really strong and had a couple of nice moments, and I think it was definitely the most, like, fully... I think it was the most fleshed out visually in terms of it had a consistent um, use of color and, and mood. And I actually really love the uh, the Nutcracker uh, MIDI choice. But it lost some steam in the middle and at the end. Um, and I can't say I wanted to stick around and kill the last few enemies. 98% kills is plenty, though. So I think I'm going to give that one a B+. Plus. I, um, I can't remember if we graded this yesterday just before we wrapped up but i think i gave it a b minus just because it was too long in the tooth and even just seeing it for a few minutes again i feel that way still it's a case of the map was really actually good i think b plus or even a minus material if it was 70 percent the length that it was because it just went on too long and also i just want to ask did it have the authors under the map title on the previous maps, or am I just imagining that? Um, I think I had to look down at my paper whenever the intermission screen came up, so no, I don't think it did. 
Okay, all right. I'm also wondering, one of those Christmas balls, at least, in fact, a couple of them look like small arch file heads. Is that intentional or was it just a happy coincidence? Uh, I, I, I actually do see that, like, there's... It, actually, I can't tell if it looks like a, like a turkey being stuffed in the middle of the tree. It's, like, right to the... Uh, down and to the right from the 100% gifts. You can kind of see the two feet and the oh. brown thing that's been <laughs> stuffed into the tree. I just yes. saw that. It does look like a turkey. <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I, I saw some faces. I, I, I'll, I'll pan to them on the on the screen, but they do look a little bit like arch file faces. Gun. The chain gun is pointing towards a hung up arch file head yes. Christmas ball. Yes, yes, that's exactly like that's, <laughs> that's what I saw. That's exactly what I was looking at. Also, that chain gun is the same size as the one that Doom Guy is holding in one hand on the Requiem title screen. <laughs> oh yeah, the one, the little teeny, the mini gun. It's really just living up to its name. It's mini so gun. cute. Yeah. So the next map, map eight, deck the underhalls by Death Bear. I'm actually Deck the Underhalls Deck is the a Underhalls. great name. It is wonderful, and I actually really like Death Bear stuff, so this should be a good one. I think I encounter... I've seen Death Bear around a lot, and I know he made a Rowdy Rudy map, actually. But oh, yeah. I haven't seen much of his stuff, so I'm... Wait, oh, I know he's a talented map. When you, when you say he made a Rowdy Rudy map, do you mean he made, like, a Rowdy... He made a... Whoa, whoa! Where did you come it from? It was a, um, a like... A fan expansion type. Oh, he, like yeah, he used the resources from Rowdy Rudy. Right, okay. That's that's right. That's right. Gotcha. The Lutons are back. The Lutons! Oh, the Lutons. Oh, I love them. I missed them. Murray Christmas. Alrighty. So, I think I first... Murray. <laughs> How about <laughs> another Christmas joke, Murray? <laughs> another... <laughs> Murray Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> what do you get when you cross a red-nosed reindeer with a society <laughs> that treats him like trash? <laughs> you get what you... You get a soul spirit. You get a soul spirit. <laughs> Holy Taking all that mom without a oh. plasma gun. Oh, unless the plasma gun's right here. And an involved. Thank you, Death Bear. What the hell? No! That was my, Not a preserve. That was my impression of a plasma. Oh, I thought you were doing a spider. Weep, weep, weep. Oh, you know, oh, yeah, you know, it actually sounded more like a racket. One thing I liked in Doom is a lot of the, like, the machinery, like, the, um, the Arachnatron and Archvile both kind of, like, power up when they see you, like, and yeah. then whenever you kill them both, they go, like, it's just such a satisfying <laughs> up and down. It's like a classic video game trope, isn't it? Like, a there's kind of, like, a enemies, you know, when they wake up, they kind of go, whoop, they, they pitch up, and then they pitch down when they, when they deactivate or Dude. die. Why, why, why? The most classic example. Yeah, you're right, dude. The most classic example. Mario going in and out of the green pipes, dude. Yeah. Just, and doo, 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 when he goes up and down, you know what I mean? That sounds about right, yeah. Oof, that was a big frame rate drop. The computer doesn't like streaming it's, and right. recording at the same time. It's all 4 FPS here, baby. Awesome. Well, 4 FPS is better than... 0.3 FPS, right? Yes, that's right. It's a huge step up from yesterday. Alright, so we are decking the underhalls with blood and gore. Oh, look at that. Oh, Merry Christmas, Jibs. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> It's so loud. I wish I knew what that came from. It's some old cartoon special or something. It has to be. So much Christmas spirit in the air. Also flack. And, uh... Body parts. <laughs> <laughs> Smell of snow and guts.
Christmas special. Rick sings Doom Christmas carols. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about including it. twelve of your favorite hits. You might know Mount Payne from the niche market of Doom YouTube. He's about to make that market even more niche by singing Christmas songs <laughs> with, with lyrics, <laughs> lyrical replacements in in intended to uh, appeal to fans of the game Doom. Why Barons? To order your CD of a niche within a niche within a niche, call now. <laughs> On your Cinco phone, right? <laughs> That's a crossover <laughs> reference to Sandwich. No, I'm not. I am not getting dragged into Cinco phone <laughs> hell. I have spent too many minutes of my life. I know. Wandering those desecrated halls. I can't help it though. It's just it's become one of his channel memes. It works pretty well. I cannot make references. I I can only no no. <laughs> nothing falling. Up. It's terrible. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's all I could think about. It's so addictive. It is. You know, Ed Begley wasn't kidding when he said, "You kidding me? Come on about that secret moment." <laughs> <laughs> This is, I, I haven't been talking much about the map, but it is incredibly explosive and actually really fun. It's not, it's, it's, this is an overstaying, it's welcome. Well, I don't know. Some people say go to, it's not slaughter, so who am I to say? There are lots of monster. That's, that's slaughter. <laughs> many monster. There's many. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, I got to no, no, say this it. This is my favorite. Is death slaughter, or is this modern progressive slaughter? This is uh, skeleton, barbarian, grunt, gent slaughter. I like it. I'll tell you what. That was my favorite map so far. I really liked that. It was very, very energetic. Short and sweet. Stuck to its theme. Hmm. I, I don't know, it wasn't the prettiest, but I had the most fun playing it. I think I'm going to give that one an A-. minus. That one looks like a solid A. For, I mean, I know I was rambling the whole time, but all I saw was action and decent looks the entire time. Plus, good Underhaul's reference in the title and the actual visuals in the map. Oh, yeah. I did a lot that I liked. Ha you had it me looked at... like one I would approve of. I got a hat. Definitely had me at the pun. That was, that was an instant uh, plus. But, um, like, I... <laughs> I guess we're, we were in some well, kind of... I want to mention... Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, fuck. Sorry. We're getting a fucking 10 second. Well, for what it's worth, I'm, hear so I'm, I'm hearing everything you're saying, so... Don't worry about talking I'm over I'm hearing you clearly, too. I can just tell that there's a giant fucking delay. But anyway, sorry. I, I've mentioned the delay too many times. If I mention it three times in the mirror, the delay monster shows up. Okay, anyway. <laughs> the All the different level titles have been different colors, I just noticed. Or either, either they're going red and white. I can't tell. Oh, they probably are alternating, cause, or maybe they're going red, white, green, something, like, something like that. I haven't been paying attention. I thought there was some green ones, but I definitely have not been paying close enough attention. So that one, that was really fun. I think I, I gave that an B plus for difficulty, just because. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I'm not really thinking very much about the the grades. Let's roll on to the next one, which but is. But you didn't stop shooting. It wasn't that hard, though. No, it wasn't that bad. This oh, is. Oh, there's. There is a green one. This is Christmas Boom by Picata Mizamiz, who has worked with Doom Kid numerous times. Look at how pretty this is. Yes. This is Picasso. the this is like the, the the brightest and comfiest map so far, right off the bat. I tend to really enjoy playing their maps, and I really enjoy like Picatum is anything but a traditional style of Doom mapper. Oh sure. Which is cool. I don't think we we discussed this last time, but the the Lutons, why do they make this like cooing sound when they die or do anything? I guess that's just the the French dude who made them thought that the little gnomes should. I mean, I guess it's pretty common for no 
Muslims kind of talk like this? You know they're what I mean? Like there's like, the South Park episode. They're like adorable though. I don't want to. I don't want to kill them. <laughs> you know the really an oddly common player skin. Like you know how we play with Doom skins when we play Deathmatch? Yeah, of course. There was a, a lot of these funny enemies you see in like common but older resource packs were also reappropriated as skins a lot of the time. Oh. Ray Mohawk, in fact, I first found him in the old skin one. You know wow. what I mean? Wow. That's back when he still had a purple Mohawk and he wasn't called Ray. And I had uh, no idea. Yeah. A little bit of up, but uh, the basis of the work was already there. And, uh, yeah, no, it's really fun. The Lutons were the same same deal. Those Lutons, I saw, I fragged a number of Lutons in Deathmatch <laughs> 10 to 15 years ago. I thought that for sure. So you've partaken of, uh, of Luton blood before. This is the first time. Uh, I've... Luton shooting, you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a Luton shooting like a looter shooter. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never even seen, or I've never seen hide nor hair of these creatures prior to playing uh, this one. So, uh, so far, I'm I'm really like loving this. I it's think only... it's, this is an adorable little Christmas village. I love the trees. I love the little houses uh, with the fireplaces. Also, this is actually way more impressive when I realize that um, I remember that there are only ten sectors in this map. Oh God, yeah, the map looks so good. It's Hard, it's easy to forget that just at a glance. For sure. Look at this. Look at how pretty this is. Like these tree textures have been kind of slapped on in a lot of these maps, but holy hell, they're, it's just so pretty. That, that, that Christmas, that giant like Christmas tree monolith is pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, it looks like one gigantic tree, but it's a bunch of small trees stacked on top of each other. Once again, there must be like um, concentric sectors here that are. Um, oh, a chainsaw. Um, there must be concentric sectors there that are making it uh, that he's using to uh, that he used to build. My God, you know what though? I have to say, having that many candles and that many open flames right next to the tree is not a good idea. That's true. It is probably a fire hazard. Ouch. Stupid. Gonna have to file a report on that one, Pickout. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not actually it's violating a, this to the health and safety it's department. Violating a city ordinance, a Christmas town ordinance. <laughs> no. That's right. It's, it's allowed in most Doom maps, but here, come on, it's Christmas. Get that fire out of here. Oh my god. Oh, wait, there's an involved. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Like blowing your eardrums out. I'm seeing a solid 10, 15 seconds behind you. I'm hearing like five seconds behind, but I'm seeing like, oh my god, so yeah, far away. You'll, you'll, you'll see in a second when I'm talking about that. I love how there's barrels next to all these revenants to like just give you a tiny little bit of help. I think I picked up a second invuln. Time to lay the cyber even for me. Eating candy canes while walking backwards and shooting the cyber in the face. You know, I'm not certain <clears throat> if this is accurate because it's been so long, but I'm pretty sure the cyber demon that I added with the Christmas resources. I think I just nabbed him from my older wad UAC Rebellion, if I remember correctly. Oh, no way. I think he uses a black and green sprite. Oh. I was just like, oh, yeah, that's pretty Christmassy, I guess. It's green rather than brown and red. So. Yeah. <laughs> that was my logic. Even more uh, even more lore about the, the Christmas pack, which this is basically the second fun uh, function of this video is to uh, provide a backstory into Doom Kid's um, adventures in compiling Christmas assets. <laughs> um, it was a worthwhile, you know, fun and creative projects like this. Using them makes it all worthwhile. It's so neat. I'm just, I'm, I'm really enamored with the, with the visuals. The, the Christmas tree background, like sky background, has looked kind of chintzy in other maps, but it really works here. 
You do have your Z-Doom set to stretch the skies kind of ugly. Ugly. Kind of ugly way as well. That's fair, but... Uh Uh-oh. We we got a... Is this a slime trail? Or a... That's a slime trail, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, well. Yeah, it is. Well, map ruined. F (laughs) minus. F minus. Very harsh. I've never, yeah, I know. As if an F isn't bad Ooh, enough. What is this? This looks creepy. No, this is actually really cool. I like oh this my one. god. There's a fake wall. Whoa. A fake wall fake was a fucking mean with, crap. Holy shit. With cyber. I can't decide if this room is ugly or pretty because it looks like Dwango 6. And Dwango 6 is not known for being pretty. But at the same time, I kind of like it. It's kind of fractured. Like, it's... I don't know. This this part of the map was so pretty. And this part of the map is all... It's kind of, like, down the drain. It's a... You think of Dwango. I this is that. Dwango. Oh, sorry. You know what? I I'm, I have a I've colored... Any Doomer who started deathmatching in the last six to eight years, I've given them, like, an artificially positive view of what Dwango is. Because uh-huh. I picked all the best maps for that compilation, you know what I mean? Like the <laughs> yes. 50 best. That, that's definitely true. If you true. played the 302 reject maps, you'd see that a fuckload of them look just like this. <laughs> but for deathmatch, which is not of, good. Big blocks of ugly textures. Well, they, I actually kind of like these textures. Yeah. Like big blocks of textures. Oh, this is this is more like a fucking, you know, deliberately uh, weird Nick Monty esque kind of thing going on here. Yeah, I guess I'm just wondering, like, Uber why, is, well, in, in your Christmas map, why do you go this direction? Forgotten has a lot of ideas. <laughs> That's the only explanation you come up with. I played Pekka's map in... does seem a little in, off the wall. I played Pekka's map in um, Solar Struggle recently, and I thought it was great. It's, it's like E1M2, so it's like kind of a, still a pacing map. But connects to the previous one, and it's inv- inventively hidden secrets and cool exploration. Oh, oh shit, shit. look at this. We're getting attacked by Christmas ornaments. Holy crap, a bunch of flying balls. Smash them. Big red balls. <laughs> it reminds me of the scene in uh, <laughs> a clockwork khaki wax. I'd like to pick them up and smash them. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a clockwork orange reference in our Christmas video. Come now, dude. Uh, I, I can't help it. I, I reference the clockwork orange way too frequently. I know that's a problem. It's I mean, it not is a... synco phone levels of that. But... It's a classic film, but it's definitely not uh, appropriate for the, uh, the occasion. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I think about smashing a bunch of round objects, I think of Alex the Large saying oh, that like no. a psycho. Oh no! Oh, what a waste of time! What a terrible waste of time that was. I just didn't save. Shit, you're all the way back here. It was like six minutes ago. Nah, it's not that bad. But I gotta kill all the things again. It's all the meat you gotta weave yet again. Now I should be aware of that. Lo- okay, now they should be showing up, right? Right? You know what? I said it's all the meat you gotta cleave again. It reminds me of um, last night I was looking through, I've got a bunch of random shovelware CDs that I've collected over the years. Yeah. And uh, some of the descriptions they give are so funny because they're going for that, you know, the tone with like Rudy 2 that I went for in the yeah, story like the- that's based on Doom's t- kind of like the edgy badass tone that ends up being kind of funny right yeah exactly that's deliberately a little over the top um some of those old shareware discs or shovelware discs rather i guess they're shareware too technically Uh um had that same language one of them was like it's gonna be 32 of the best uh demon laden blood soaked arenas that the doom guy has ever hard fought his gritted teeth through like they use all these silly like descriptors and shit i just love that shit so much (laughs) 
Whenever what? I was you cleaving your way through more than meat, it kind of reminded me of one of the ones that they would use. Well, that, that's critical to uh, to Dim's whole feel and aesthetic, I think. Especially if you had, like, if you, if you uh, if your Doom had a manual that came with it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Because I totally... Luckily, it's, like, I know both... I bought the badassness of it, you know? I, I uh, totally believed that uh, the writers of the manual were, were cool and, you know, like, manly men and stuff. Little did I know they were just computer programmers. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, though, because it, that's how it was, too. It's great, because... When you're young, it has it, it appeals to you. I don't so like to use sick. the word ironic because there's nothing ironic about it, but it appeals to you on a direct level. And when you're older, it appeals to you like this is so over the top and silly. I love it. You know what I mean? Type yeah, of level. but it's it's relatable in both ways, I guess. Like you can get something out of it in both in both ways. I ran away from that fight because I don't want I don't want to die again. I don't want to waste any more time. So is that door going to open into the sky? Oh, I don't or think no, so. No, I, I think this I think from. this lowered, but I can probably get back. I'm just trying to finish the level. I live for big doors opening right up into the sky and just disappearing. It's there fucking, I don't know why it's so amusing. Yeah. Christmas boom. I really liked that map. I would have finished up the, the final fight if I were trying to complete these maps 100%, but I think I got the experience of it. That was that was by far the prettiest map, I think. This is our casual little <laughs> this is just romp through the snow, that's all. Yep. Um... I think uh, I'll probably give that one. The combat was also pretty good. I think I think that's on par with the Death Bear one. I'll give that an A minus. Difficulty also you know, B plus. I think. I I'm, I'm not gonna not to just clone your grade, but that definitely looked like A material. I think. You know, my gut instinct is to save solid A's and A pluses for like really good shit, uh -huh. like the stuff that makes you go wow. I don't necessarily know if it wowed me, but it used those sector limits really well. It had great visuals overall. In fact, someone who didn't know any better might not even realize it had any limitations, which always speaks great for a limitation map when you can't tell at a glance. Absolutely. Um, yeah, no. I, I think it was a well-earned A-. I think there was a lot of effort there, and it paid off. So you, are you going to give it an A or an A-? minus? I'm going to give it an A-. minus. It deserves to be in like A tier, but not... You know, there's still two tiers above it. Gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, I, I try not to think of... I mean, I, I often kind of double clutch when I'm giving A's as well. Like, usually when I give an A, it's like, it has to be a map that I'm like automatic. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an A. Um, but A minuses are like, that was good in every way, but I didn't get that kind of like automatic feeling of it being an A. And by A, I usually mean like... It was fun, it was cool, it was memorable. It was like all those things at once automatically without even thinking about it. And this one, I, I, I think uh, the, vis yeah. the visuals were great without me even having to think about it. They're my favorite in this one so far. Um, just extraordinarily pretty and colorful. Um, this one actually needs some color. Um, and uh, Pekka did a great job with that. The tree was very cool. So I actually know what the next map is all about. Um, I opened it up. I, I, I skimmed through the next couple. I didn't play the whole thing, but I skimmed the next couple. And this one is called Merry Fistmas, which uh, it is exactly what you think it's going to be. Oh, Lord. Should, should be <laughs> is actually, it like a... It's, a... it's a Tyson map with a candy cane. <laughs> so this is going to be real interesting. Because we have this is going to give Cliffside Punch Out a run for its money. Well, remember we have nine Pain Elementals, five Arch Files, and a bunch of Cyber Demons to kill, right? So that's a lot of Arch Files and Cyber Demons to kill with your fist. I'm uh, I'm dubious. <laughs> My God, it's not just punching, is it? I mean, well, we'll see. Like I said, I played a little bit of it. So I know what's coming in like the next room, for example. I love in that that um, the pain elemental Christmas ball. You can actually see the reflection of the person's room who took the photo. No way, really. I thought you were gonna say you can actually yeah, see time you guys' see reflection. The... You can see your own reflection. Look, look, like if you you see how you can see like the window that was behind the table that it was on, and like. 
you could see some of the vague details of the room that was reflected in the ball when they took the photo. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you're right, actually. And they must have they must have like gotten kind of like smudged it out, like the actual part with the um, the camera and whatever, because you can't possibly take a picture of a Christmas ball and not get yourself in the picture. Oh yeah, of course, that's right. So can you see the arch file behind the the post over there? Oh god, yeah, I see his hand reaching out creepily. Death. Feed him some candy cane. You know what? I might get a candy cane after we wrap up. Oh, shit. I, I, I got some in the fridge candy. upstairs. You know, I one of my favorite things to do around Christmas time is make a hot chocolate and stir it with a candy cane. You know what? I've never done that. I'm going to do it, that now it, that you it, mentioned it. It creates a minty hot chocolate. It sounds delicious. It I is. love mint chocolate, so that sounds great. It's really lovely. I think... Oh, that's right. The arch file is sick. Mint chocolate is in, like... I know we're, it's a, you know, there's lots of snow, cold stuff around, so maybe some ice cream chatter could be forgiven. I love mint chocolate chip and Rocky Road. Oh my god, they're like my two favorite flavors by mint chocolate by a chip pretty is wide margin. Pretty much my favorite as well. That and like a cookies and cream type thing. Mm, a good cookies and cream. Oh my god, so good. Heck yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, this is all not big on Rocky Road. Well, I, I think the only... I've never actually... I, I probably have had it, but I don't, strictly speaking, know what goes into a Rocky Road ice cream. So it's just chocolate ice cream with peanuts and marshmallows. But not so oh. many that it's, like, full of them. It's just enough to be a cool little bite, you know what I mean? Well, that sounds great, yeah. No, 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 don't follow me out here. Oh, my God. Cyberdemon. Cyberdemon, you're fired. Hey, I got a, I got a super shot. Fired. You're fired. Listen, I know cyber demons. You're, you're garbage. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> no Trump impressions on my show. <laughs> Even though I just. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> they literally. Oh. Listen, I know Trump impressions. It's a terrible Trump impression. I've seen way better. No, okay, I'm done. I'm done for real. You don't have to slap me. I'm <laughs> Everybody says I do a great Trump impression. Everybody, everybody tells me. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've <laughs> talked to people. People always tell me I do the greatest Trump impression. <laughs> Donald Trump would yeah, claim that he anyone. does. Ask. Donald Trump would absolutely claim that he does the best Donald Trump impression of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond any doubt. Oh my God, it's so funny. So, uh, this is an arch file maze. Kane and oh no, we're not in hunted, are we? We are temporarily, but it's easy because we have a, 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 we have a berserk candy cane. You can't really uh, you can't use the okay. So what's hard to do because the candy cane's off center. It's I guess the fist and doom's off center, but you're used to it. I always use the doom guy's face to like absolutely line that shit up. Because it's so easy to swing to the left or right of them with that animation, you know what I mean? I'm not having a whole lot of trouble, to be honest. I actually kind of think that the, the, the swinging a weapon gives me some sense of, like, I'm not... Like, the fist always seems to me like you're not quite close enough to hit the demon with the animation. So I, I've always... I've, I've basically just gotten yeah. used to the feel of it more than anything. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I can go pretty much well enough on... Uh, Instincts, that was stupid, but I have a mega sphere back there. Right. So for me, I don't know, a sprite throwing so I've even seen people who I know have played Doom for 20 years, and sometimes when they have weapons off to the side, it throws their aim just way off, you know what I mean? Yeah. I just beat those loot and stuff. I love that you with a candy cane. <laughs> you turn them into little piles of frost, that's funny. Oh, that is what they are, isn't it? Looks like it. At least little, Frost little or water ash. snow on the ground. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. I'm content with either. Oh boy. <laughs> you know what, what they say? Frost another... or frost, snow to snow. I I like that. I like that. Yet another involve. I, I don't this, know. This looks like a even though this room is like super plain. It's kind of just a classic fun setup. Yeah, it was a maze, and then the maze disappeared. It's kind of like a... I want to say it's kind of a Paul Corpiatus setup, except I've never seen him drop a cyber demon like this. This is totally like 1995 in MGM. I will say, this map for the most part. Not, not in a bad way, just uh, I actually like, I like the combat. I think he actually pulled it off so far. 
trial date. The Tyson with, uh, Tyson with five cyber demons. I mean, we're not completely done with the map, but so far he's pulled it off. By no means did it, did it, uh, my fears were not at all justified. It gave a fair bit of weapons and ammunition, oh, and there's just a, a Tyson stretch. There's the BFG and the last, all the monsters that are left. <laughs> oh god. During the, at the little, like, fireplace with all the Christmas decorations, that was kind of cute, honestly. You mean back over where the weapons were? Over here? Yeah, like, there was just a bunch of decoration. <laughs> oh, oh, no, it that, wasn't that, a fire That burn no. barrel? Close enough. That, that, bo that bowed burn barrel? Dude, you're running, you're roasting chestnuts over an open burning barrel. <laughs> chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say on a burning barrel. <laughs> Doom guy taking rockets on his nose. Don't, don't take any more rockets on his nose. Oh, you got a bit of help. Damn. These other two that go down here. Silent there Night. Go. Silent Night, bitches. <laughs> mm. It's gonna be a real silent night for them. Indeed. They're done. They're not they're not getting up. Alrighty. That is that. So I think this one's picking up momentum. Merry Christmas was really fun. I liked that one. You know, I uh, I gave Pecatum's map an A minus on the back, largely of the creativity of the layout and the good visuals. The combat was solid there too, uh -huh. but I feel like the combat I I just want a B plus just because the visuals weren't they weren't bad, but they weren't as interesting as what I've seen from Pecatum's and a few other maps. The one map that was too long but also looked really good. Um, but I will say, um, on the combat, on the back of largely the combat and like the sort of cute 90s nods, I'm going to give that one a B plus. I'm inclined to agree with you. Um, I think that one was lacking in Christmas cheer compared to Picatum's and a few others. And it wasn't like quite as pretty, but that was as fun as the last two maps. I think these middle three so far, seven, eight, nine have been my favorite ones to play so far. Or actually, no, uh, eight, nine, ten, sorry. Sorry to the author of Map 7. You just got totally... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ma map 7 got a B and a B- minus from us. Um, but for Mary Fismas's part, that was that was remarkably fun, and I'm you know, kudos to Trial D for somehow doing a an all-but-a-little-bit Tyson map um, with five Cyber Demons, and we're, I don't remember how many Arch Files and Cyber Demons there are. Oh, that was Trial D? Yeah, yeah. Trial D did a really cool mini for um, the Dune 2 mini pack as well. So that's I, awesome. I know he did one for No Rest or the Living as well. I think he did map two for No Rest or the Living. No, he's good. He makes cool minis and cool maps now, I know. Oh, boy. On top? On top of the cruelty instead of on top of Old Smokey or what? I, I, I don't know, uh, but this is Man with Guns map. So I'm expecting no quarter. Uh, on top of the cruelty, I'm wondering if there's like, that, that might, maybe if it's like a, a Russian Christmas, you know, we have all these Christmas phrases that yeah. we just kind of mindlessly repeat. I'm wondering if there's like on top of, you know, Yuletide or some shit is like one of their phrases of Christmas on, perhaps. On, I mean, I, on, on top of the I'm just guessing. Maybe it isn't on top of Old Smokey reference. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> there's a spider mastermind. Um... Yeah, I, I, I read it, like, on top of the cruel tree, like, the Christmas tree, the cruel tree, I don't know. Oh, right, like the star on top of the cruel tree, kind of. That's uh, what I was you know thinking. What? The pun's gotta be. It's it's sophisticated, like man with gun. Um. <laughs> it is. So. Well, you can see, actually, first impressions of the map, visuals are above average, on point. for sure. For yes, squad. absolutely. Um... Lots of, uh, lots of vertical space. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm bearing in mind the 10th sector limit, seeing how he uses that. Get my Santa hat on. I'd like to get some better guns. That's a good start. A little bit of... put, put Santa's hat on, alright? You need a little bit of protection before you get in here. That's right. We practice safe Christmas here. <laughs> Oh, oh, I hear pain elementals. I hear a lot of pain elementals. Oh, that hurt. Okay. What do you think the pain elementals say when they wake up? 
They just hiss, don't they? Oh, really? You think they say something? It almost kind of sounded like they were saying who, what, where, or something, like, really, like, muffled to me as a kid, like, who, what, where, like, or something. I don't know why uh, I thought that, but, like... That's interesting. In the same way, whenever, uh, Archfiles die, I've never heard why, why, why. No. I, I heard him, like, complaining about someone named Elroy, like, oh, Elroy, is what it always sounded like to <laughs> me. <laughs> God damn it, Elroy. Why'd you let the Archfile die, Elroy? <laughs> I've never heard that one before. I, I, I don't hear why, why, why. I mean, I just hear a glug, 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 like they're choking on their own yeah. fluids and they're glug, glug, glug. I think if I played Doom at first as a teenager or adult, I wouldn't have ascribed so much, like, quotations to the sounds. But, like, um, you know, Hell Knight's dying. I think a lot of people hear Agua whenever they die, and I did as well. Either that or, like, blah, 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 set really fast, kind of like, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's what I kind of thought they were saying. <laughs> Didn't describe any sound of that one either, actually. I forgot to pick up the armor. Um, the Nazis definitely said Who Saw Ho and Bang Bang whenever you killed them. That was, for me, it was... Uh, what? Who Saw Ho. No, that's whenever the, they see they, you, they go Who Saw Ho and whenever you kill no, them, Bang say, Baby. They say Schustoffel. Schustoffel. That one's... <laughs> no, of course it's what they really say. No, you're right. They I, definitely do say Shustoffel. I, I draw well, a line at interpreting word. words in another language as <laughs> different words, just because. I mean, I, I don't. I didn't know exactly what they said, but I, mine leaving was much was much clearer actually. That one I never mistook. Oh yeah. Well, it's it's funny because I always noticed that in Doom 2 they kind of go like, "Thing maybe." Like they have this really little like subtle. And in Wolfenstein 3 they go, "Mine leaving." In such an aggressive <laughs> like. They sound so much more aggressive and loud in Wolf 3D. It's, it's like they're getting funny. ripped in half while they're saying it. Mein Leben! Blah, like, freedom from Braveheart or something. I, <laughs> they sound, like, disinterested and mildly put off Mine in Leben. Doom 2 by comparison. Mein Leben! No, <laughs> I, I, I like the Doom 2 one better, because they sound much more, like, pathetic. Like, Mein Leben! Oh, I, I think that's what it had to be. Like, in Wolf 3D, they were kind of like... They were Wolf 3D's chain gunners, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, they were the toughest, but, toughest you know, In Doom 2, they're so tiny. These little... I love that Free Doom, like, literally replaced them with, like, goofy-looking blue sailors. No way. Because that's kind of what they look like anyway. <laughs> I thought all the enemies in that game were bugs. Is that true? In Free Doom? Free Doom. No, it might. There probably is a megawatt out there that that's true for, but no, not freedom. There's a lot of them. Freedom has, you know, like weird. There's like a little stompy. Whoa! What the hell? I don't. I just. I don't really want to kill the man. Yeah, there's like a little. The revenant is replaced with a weird stompy, like black colored devil who like just tromps oh. around on his weird paws. No, I thought they were all <laughs> like, like. I thought they were all like snails and bugs and things like like weird. Um, Insectoids. Um, no, there, there, there's a few of them. Like I know the um, the arachnotrons are still very spider-esque, and the, the imps demons are I'm... like worms. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Like the the demons are worms, and the imps are stuff. I feel like the imps are also the worms. imps. I know that they used to have like an Egyptian look to them. They used to be like Egyptian snakes. I don't know what they look like anymore. They have all it's new names time. too, right? They're not—I mean, they're clearly not called imps, but they've—they've they've got their own like unique no. story and whatever. It's funny the Doom, Free Doom assets, which have of course gone through a few different iterations themselves. Um, I'm—I know for a fact they've all got their own names. That's one thing I do know. This is a really attentive and irritating Spider Mastermind. I don't like it. I was going to say, like, it's the definition of a spider mastermind fight that encourages, uh, man with gun, do better, damn it. No, I'm kidding. Actually, that is... this is pretty good. Well, I mean, that fight was fine until I got, like, roadblocked by the by the mastermind. That's the only weak part a of the A small so bump. Come on. I was going to say, small bump on otherwise good map, but it seems seems low. I was expecting the, uh, the merciless cold of Russian winter and not a Christmas map. So I, I was pretty prepared. No. 
you you did you're getting somewhere halfway between the two. You know, it's still pretty cheery. It's not well, like gloomy. In and spite gloomy. of itself, it's because it's a map that's in a you know in a wad where health bonuses are candy canes. So it doesn't have to work that hard. This is whoa. Yeah, it doesn't have to work that hard to be. Oh my god. Christmasy. See, I, I talked about it being friendly and Christmassy, and then the first thing in Mammoth comes like, oh, okay, I see how it is. Release wave of enemies now. We have caught him <laughs> napping. Murray, Chris. Uh, when did you add the second S on the end of Chris Mass? <laughs> what? Sorry, the fucking audio is probably not coming through that good. No, I heard. I say, when did you add that second S? When did I add the second S? You know how your save file says Murray Christ Mass? Oh, 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 I'm sure that that's a, um, like I was hitting W A S or D while I was, uh, like saving. <laughs> I, 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 I often so tag it extra, pure, okay. I almost always add extra W's and A's and whatever onto my save files because I manually go in and save. I don't quick save or anything like that. Right, right. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought you just added an extra S. <laughs> <laughs> Chris ass, like I just thought there was an ass pun. Merry Christmas ass. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I need some health. Uh, is that too much to ask? Is that too much to ask, man with gun? He's not a fan of giving health. I, think, I have noticed that. Actually, you know what? His solo struggle map was pretty generous. But overall, he's a pretty... Um, he's not the most... He's pretty stingy with the resources. Got it. Not to the point of unfairness, just to the point of being a little tough. Well, I got, I got spoiled, I have to say. Uh, the last three maps were kind of... Went relatively easy on the player. Right, they gave you a lot to kill, but they gave you a lot of health and ammo to do it too. Yes, for sure. Right, I need the plasma gun. Shit. Okay. Hmm. No secrets in this map, so there's no point in going back and looking for optional stuff. All out of everything but rockets. So I'm gonna go grab this. Almost hit it there. Yeah. Shit! No. I don't have enough health to make this comfy for myself. I went the wrong way. God damn it, that is really frustrating. Let me go back and let me save after I kill this imp so that I can point myself in the right direction. I actually just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in this room, but I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something because. Oh, jeez. This is the next room after all. Yeah. Oh. Come on, dude. If it's full of monsters. Oh. Just, I mean, I'm, this Where's is, the health? Well, this is just the worst way to play Doom. I, I made my, I made my own, I made my bed, and now I'm lying in it. You don't save with like 25 health. That's stupid. See, so what you do, Mountain? You save with low health. This is this is a uh, this is a pro doom tip right here. Okay. You save with low health and then just don't take any damage. Boom. Well, shit. I wish I had thought of that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I, mean, I would it's have just like sometimes. Implement perfection. I mean, it's as simple as that, right? <laughs> Exactly. I mean, sometimes the most obvious solutions are sitting right in front of us, and we just don't realize them until someone else points them out. You know, it's that's a good. It's happened point. to me plenty of times. I'm just. I'm glad you were here to point it out to me. I really. I owe you one, buddy. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was the most <laughs> dumb shit I've said. And that's coming from me. So that's saying something. No, that that sounds very similar to the jibe I, I threw at you during your Plutonia video where I was like, so this is a game called Doom. You know, you move forward with, oh. with the A button and you... That's, <laughs> so I, I got what was... Yeah, what goes around, true. comes around, you know? <laughs> okay, so I've killed pretty much everything in here, but I can't see... Like, where am I supposed to go? I got 3% health. 
these things don't... You unironically did a good job of taking very little damage, but god, four health is just not much. And anything that can hurt you will kill you immediately at four health. Yeah, like that lost soul. It's important, yeah. I'm just gonna do that a bit again with a little less fear. Yeah, I should be fine now. Okay. There. You could even save again. I will. I'll kill him. Your health to enemy ratio is a lot better. You almost added yet another A. Ass on, <laughs> yeah. That, that's, Christmas ass. that's what I'm saying. Like, I, 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 my one hand has to hit the enter button, and my other hand wants to immediately be moving. Um, I think that's just an optional wing. But that doesn't make any sense. Is it really? Wait, does that snow hurt you? Yeah, there's there's damaging floors in every single one of these levels. I think that was just an optional wing. The plasma. Damn, dude. No. I mean, that's okay. I it's probably. Tough option. I probably want that plasma. Oh shit. Um. Ah oh, crap! What were we talking about about before the optional wing? Uh, you were making fun of me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I was being bullied. As usual. Uh, just taking taking uh -huh. my, my daily abuse from Doom Kid. <laughs> <laughs> this is your daily dose of abuse from Doom Kid. It's only funny because it couldn't be further from Sorry. the truth. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's okay, that's gotta be it. It's just through here. That 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 was also optional. Man with gun. They it's a speed map, not a non-linear opus. Man with gun doesn't do non opi No half measures, he says. <laughs> this oh, is I, the amount of pain. I just realized. Sorry, I won't interrupt your your, your impression. I actually like that. <laughs> I was just gonna say no more half measures. Well, no, no. What's his famous line though? His Put your dick away, Walter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His most famous line is, I'm not having sex with you, Walter. I'm not having sex with you right now, Walter. As everybody knows, the famous classic. That, that was my favorite, right? Breaking Bad was a pretty serious show, but those comedic moments helped keep it so fun. And the moment where Mike says, Put your dick away, Walter. I, me and everyone else just started <laughs> laughing to me. Like, oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, I, I also loved the... the the, like I know after the show got kind of weird after IFT when uh, Skyler cheated on Walt, but it, I, I, it, it went that extra level of weird and kind of uh, the sexual politics between Mike and Walter. I always found that very compelling. It was and and Mike was and Walt was like Mike, we we can't Mike. <laughs> and but then of course he'd give in to his urges. You know what I mean? Your Cranston was really it was good. This great little dynamic. The Excellent. scenes where Mike Fuck. gently embraced him were, were some of the best in the show. And now it brought out Mike's <laughs> emotional core. <laughs> this is, I've never felt love like this before. Uh, this sucks. I hate this. I hate this. I don't like this fight. This map is really rubbing me the wrong way. It's not. It's not in theme. This is bullshit. <laughs> This is what happens when I play maps. This is why I always play maps twice because being a little bit prepared for this fight would, you know, would not prompt such a clumsy, stupid reaction. If what that the hell? rocket box was a BFG instead, this would be way more fair. Well, it's it's fine. I just he gave me a soul sphere. We should wait for some in fighting. The problem is I can't use the rocket launcher when they get up in my face, like at all. I guess no, now I this is it. This battle begs, like it begs plasma followed by shells, and well, yet you're giving rockets. It's so mean. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> I beat it, you know, with infighting and letting them take advantage. This has got to be the hardest map so far, right? Well, yeah, on the merit of that fight and the previous one and the fact that I'm not even halfway done, it's pretty much the hardest so far, I would say. I mean, the helpful. other one that was the quote-unquote hardest was kind of tough, but the platforming added a lot to its perceived 
um, frustration level. Yeah, that, this is and that was like, like kind of tradition. mindless okay. slaughtery. This is more uh, tactical. It's more okay, under Soul Sphere. Whew, just in time, man. On my screen, you didn't even have over a hundred health at any point. It was just. It went from 5 to 86. Like, it was yep. really funny. No, I, I, it, it taxed me immediately. All right. Let's hope that the last, like, 50, 150 monsters are in this area. Yeah. yeah a, big, a big wave wow. with some cells and rockets to take it right, out. This is actually really awesome. I like this. This wide open oh, area. Oh, the, the actual... Big frozen the river. How is this... How is this... Sectors? All the ice is one sector, I guess, and then there's like columns and whatever. Maybe they, they go into the ceiling, and that's not a sector. Yeah, that's right. Columns do not count as sectors. But still, that's just great. Uh, he he took that limitation and like some of the other map, Picasso, and the mapper who made the too long map. I keep forgetting, unfortunately. Do you know who made that one? Uh, map seven. Yeah. Uh, map seven was Piero. Piero, you did a good job, Piero. If you're if you're watching this at all, I don't want to keep shitting on you. It was actually a good. Man. Well, and it's a great benchmark. No, to I don't want another mastermind. I don't like them. No, okay, seriously. I just not a single rat suit. Oh, where's the hell? I, I need a rat where's suit. Where's the is, mega spear? This is all damaging floor. I mean, shit, I, I would have been, I would have gone one up and just given the player a fucking Megasphere with this kind of uh, opposition. But you, know you I mean? probably wouldn't have given them a rad suit because you have something against rad suits, don't you? You know what, though? But if you give the player a lot of health afterwards, you know, it's fine. You know, all's well, it ends well. Nice deflection, but what did rad suits ever do to you, game kid? <laughs> what, what, what rad suit, what, look, what rad suit hurt you? You can tell me. So, you know what? My position on that is if I'm going to add a nukage floor and then just add a rad suit, I'm not going to do either, and I'm just going to put water there instead. <laughs> I like that. That's an interesting philosophy. I mean, I, I guess you're, that's a good point, because I've definitely seen maps use a lot of damaging floor and then just give you 800 rad suits, and it's like, what was the point of the damaging floor? If you're just, by design, allowed to get um, a rad suit wherever you go. Um, but I've also, mm -hmm. I think the right mm -hmm. use of a radiation suit and damaging floor combo is you have enough rad suits to go back and forth across the damaging floor as much as possible, but the first time where it's like really critical, there's like a, there's like a time limit on it. So like you, maybe you had, um, one big fight around nukage, you had one big fight around nukage and, um, that you had to get through it in like 60 seconds. Okay, this is really not pleasant. There should be a BFT. It's hard to concentrate on this fucking difficult fight while trying to make a salient point as well. Like, Jesus. Yeah, I'm not my, even. My brain is Like, I'm watching you do it. And it. Anyway, I think what you're saying is uh, you were talking about the. You know, not that there's any always ideal way, but you're talking about the ideal usage of rats. I, yeah. I wanted to. I, I just, do want to add on to what you were saying. I think of. Like, I mean, actually, you finish your point. If you had more to say, please do. I'm gonna lie here on the ice and make my point. Um, I think I, I've sure. seen I've seen really successful fights implemented by like they're on damaging floor, and you either have enough space to kind of avoid the damaging floor with good footwork. You might take a tick or two here or there, and you don't have a rad suit. And then other fights where you basically can't avoid stepping on the damaging floor, but you have like two rad suits and about two minutes to do the fight before the damaging floor starts to be just a constant factor. I saw that in Nova 2, uh, Megiddo 2, and um, Beluga Sanctuary. And Taris did a really good um, damaging floor fight at the end of MSCP. So. Mm. Now that I've got all my examples of good, good damaging floor usage, and that now that I've gotten all, now that I was able to dedicate all my RAM to that, I'm gonna let you talk and dedicate all my RAM to somehow getting through this fight. <laughs> sure, man. Okay, so for me, I like to do if I have an obstacle or a or a slice of difficulty, for lack of a better word, something that the player has to overcome. I like to use 
the old school RPG approach to difficulty in general, which is to say the first time you encounter something, it makes you bite your teeth and it's hard. And then after that, it's fucking easy. You're like, okay, I know this. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. So I, going by that principle, I like to have it so the player, there is a good amount of damaging floor. And after five minutes of constantly like hopping from thing to thing, you're like, God damn it, where's the suit? And then you get the suit. So like, then your way back out is super easy, right? So the way in through this, let's say, nuke infested tech base, you gotta keep damaging the nuke. But once you reach your blue key, the whole reason you're in this room, zone, whatever it may be, you also get the suit, so it's like, alright, you you did the hard part. You got in, you earned the key, I'm just gonna give you the suit and you can skedaddle back out casually. That, to me, is how I like to use suits. Now, that's a rule of thumb that's not across the board, obviously. But I do, I like, uh, you know, it's like, after five minutes of fighting the... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, that was terrible luck. Um, yeah, after, like, five minutes of going, damn it, where's the suit? You finally get it, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think my, my opposition to your... Oh my fucking god! What the fuck? This is fucking <laughs> bullshit! I gotta get another rat suit, though. That's good. That gives me some confidence. You know what? I think Where's I might... the megaspheres? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, I thought I just saw one. I think I was mistaken. <sighs> I'm really hoping that I can just leave. That was a really stupid thing to do. Oh, no, he put a fucking door Arch up in the way. Files. Of course he would. Oh, I'll just kill these guys. Why first. does that fucking door have to go in the way? That's so annoying. I'm, Don't no. lock in battles are like, dude. One thing that new dooms took, like they're great overall, but one anus ridden that they introduced. <laughs> is lock in arena fights. That's so common, dude. It's like it's pra it's practically the bread and butter of, of modern wads. What am I supposed to do here but on with the edge? Explain that to me, man with gun. Seriously, like what is this? There's an arch file behind them. You got enough ammo too. You got cells begging to be loaded into a BFG, but no fucking BFG to use them and that's just annoying as fuck. God, I can't ignore the revenants. Man with gun doesn't really seem to do little casual romps. He does big, large, grand. That's that's his flavor, you know. Well, we, and we I, sit I can, in opposite I, ends of the. I can respect that, but I do think that um, when you're entering a community project that speed maps for Christmas. You kind of got to know your audience a little bit better. Time in place, you know. Time in place. I mean, for something like Christmas one, like for me, it would have been More like cyber on demons? par with like Rainbow Off one. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I I would definitely like want to give like I feel like most of the mappers have just kind of thrown. Uh, I'm giving them you know decently high grades for difficulty, but again, it's most because of the random the the obligatory arch file and cyber demon quota that has to be met. But a lot of members didn't even try to really meet that quota. They just threw a bunch of involves in with you. Oh, that's it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the, the exit. <laughs> I was ready for it. Oh, my goodness. It was a good map overall. Like, there was a lot it did good, but, man, there was a lot it did that frustrated, too. Like Yeah. Um... I mean, even though it was, probably my, it was probably my least favorite map to play... Whoa, um, feedback. Um, That's probably my least favorite map to play, but it, it certainly it was far from the worst technical map, and it was incredibly visually impressive. That, that frozen river was really cool looking. Um, I loved the way that the looked. The visual, because in the visual department, if not the strongest map, it was definitely in the top. You know what I mean? Like, it was really good looking. That was, that man with con knows his looks, and he does them damn well. Absolutely. I will say that the challenge, though, the rad suit thing that we bitched to no end about actually wasn't a big deal. I mean, no, we had some that was conversation. Well, but again, like I, this is why I always feel very leery about recording myself because the, these aren't opinions; these are feelings. <laughs> these are a hundred. These aren't. Yeah, these right. aren't. These aren't even fully formed thoughts. They're just you know knee jerk reactions. So clearly, react, exactly. I could have played that all much better. Now, the one thing I don't think I could have played a whole lot better. 
um, is that part with the um, the two arch files, the revenants and the mancubi. That was just an absurdly um, difficult section to do with, like no armor, uh, no BFG until the my end. My review is, um, yeah, my review is my needs more health and needs more BFG. If you were gonna give a grade, uh, what would you? What, what are your two grades, Mount Payne? Um, difficulty. That's an A. Because uh, that was actually very, very hard. Um, the other A minuses I gave out were probably not as, uh, not as much A minuses as this one is an A. That was quite difficult. I would have trouble with that on replay. I think. Um, right. Uh, grade probably B minus. Because I, I lean back and forth between B and B minus, but I think the meanness drops it a little bit. Um, I, again, that's just, that's a first impression, and it gets most of its points for just uh, technical distinction i'm gonna go ahead and give it a b plus okay be on purely on the back of its visuals and a lot of what like you say the technical side was very impressive to me as a mapper i could look at that and go damn that's clean mapping work that is well executed technical work the gameplay though like that map could have easily been an a minus but man with gun, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. He he. It's just a, it's a stylistic difference, you know. He likes his. I'm I've never. I, I like my hard shit here and there. The last three maps of a ten map wad, you know, make those hard ish. But for me, hard is like Plutonia one though as well. Keep in mind. So Definitely. I'm not a fan of that kind of. I don't like putting the players' balls on the grill. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What I will say about on top of the cruelty is. It has the most room for growth in terms of me liking it more the second time around. This is the kind of map that I would have a negative impression of the first time, come back to it and see all of its uh, all of its more redeeming qualities in a much more flattering light because I know where its meanness is. Um, so this is probably going to have a lot of replay value should I ever go back to it. The most improved award. <laughs> well, that has that, that would remain to be seen, but I guess we will we'll, we'll not know until a later date. Or at all. We'll find out. What's most important is that you play these and uh, see what you think of them. Because so far, I, I definitely endorse this wad and give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Give it my recommendation. This is putting me in the holiday spirit because, I mean, it's literally the only thing I'm doing for Christmas. I don't have a Christmas tree. I, I'm not putting up lights or decorating. Um, this. Oh, man. <laughs> Doom Christmas is, is pretty much where it's at for me right now. I am lucky. I do have a, it's a small tree, but I do have a tree with lights and tinsel on it. If I didn't have that, I would feel too Scrooge esque. But beyond, it's a tiny tree. It's not impressive. I, I accept but you know the what? criticism. I will say. Bah humbug. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is. I gotta. I agree with you. Christmas wads are always cute and fun, and so yeah, this is this is just great. This the, the actual soul here, for all its flaws, I'm, I'm I am liking it so far. So the next wad or the next map we'll be playing, uh, we're gonna stitch this together in Doom Kid's stream, um, is gonna be O Tenen Boom by Weird Sandwich. <laughs> oh, but first, That's but actually... first, but first, yeah, yeah, yeah. ah, the scent of pine trees. Wonderful, isn't it? Well, it would be if it wasn't poisonous. Oh, you, di you didn't know? Well, damn, I guess I forgot to include the warning in the text file. Well, if you want the antidote, you'll have to find it at the top of this tree right here. Thankfully, since this isn't Doom 2016, you won't have to platform your way up. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That joke would have landed better if this wad didn't already have frustrating platforming in it. No, I'm kidding. Actually, that was really good. Lol. I like how there's uh, the, there's two there's a requirement for two keys um, in this wad, and they're both right here. We will pick up from here. Just presents under the tree for you. So we are finally back into Christmas dooming, getting killed by Combat Shock 2 chain gunners. Um, this is a map called O Ten and Boom by Weird Sandwich. I think I announced that in our last uh, session here. Um, so far, it's just pretty much corridors and hit scanners. Um, I think I don't know. more hallways and demons. This is a load. Yeah. I think, no, no, I think that's one of the, like, rejected quit messages for Doom. Oh. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I was going to say, I, if, you, if you were talking about um, 
that being an issue with the map, then I guess we'd better give up on Doom as a concept, because, like, what is Doom but just more corridors and monsters? Right. I, lo I just love that. That was, like, one of the quick messages they didn't have. <laughs> more corridors and monsters? What a load. I guess that's just saying what a load was too edgy for 1993. Wait, wh where where is this? What what are you referring to? Because I've never, I've never gotten There's that quick message. Four... So you know how quit messages in Doom, you know, the, for the silly little jokes? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be waiting two. with a bat, and if I were your boss, I'd deathmatch you in a minute. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, but yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know what, what a load, I don't know what the one you referenced was. There's so. four that were taken out because they were seen as too, like, sketchy. One of them was, like, one of the dudes involved with the game in some way was named Ron. And one of the messages was, hey, Ron, can we say fuck in these messages? Like the quit messages. <laughs> Yeah, that would have that would have pushed the game. Uh, not it wouldn't have made it like rated R or anything. It was already I don't they didn't even have like ESRB ratings back then. It was a three out of four on the RSAC rating, the one that predated ESRB. Well, that was it was all from violence. I don't even think there was anything related to. What, what, did, wait, didn't it get like a one out of ten on uh, or one out of four on drugs because somebody mentioned drinking or something in the in the manual? Uh, no, it was a one out of four on vulgarity because it says hell, damn, and ass. Jesus Christ. I mean, to be fair, I guess those, if you say those three words a few times, you're going to get a, at least a little tiny nod. I mean, you know yeah, I mean, but a, 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 a movie from 1993 that said hell, damn, and ass would get a PG. Maybe. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Nowadays, G rated movies are basically just for babies, um, and everything is PG or PG 13. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when Star Wars, I, uh, this is unrelated, but I remember when Star Wars 3 got a PG-13 and it was a big deal. And it was only because of Anakin killing younglings. Um, I think all yeah, all the other Star Wars movies are PG. Even the one like where Luke gets his freaking arm locked off, lopped off by his father. Um, you know, <laughs> that, that, that would probably be PG-13 today. Ironically, that's... I gotten, was just thinking that, yeah, it probably would. We've gotten a little bit softer on... Uh, that that kind of uh, oh, sorry, we've gotten we've gotten harder on that kind of violence, I think. Yeah, yeah. In terms of like rating it harshly, I um, you know, it's funny. I with the rating system, it, it's always been pretty like liquid. For every five years or so, the norms shift. You know what I mean? Like to, at least to some degree. Like. Uh, uh, <laughs> It's so funny. I just love like, like looking at the old RSAC rating card. I've got a couple boxed versions of Doom, mm -hmm. and it actually gives you a card with the game that lets you know what the rating uh, means. You know what I mean? Interesting. And uh, it's like it, the categories, the description of the categories themselves is more lewd than anything that actually appears in Doom. It <laughs> cracked me up. That's actually pretty funny. Because like, it's like with the sexual actual content, four things, right? Yeah, the four out of four is like rape, sadism, torture, da da da, and it's Jesus. like none of these concepts would even be in a person's brain while playing Doom, but this ratings card is putting the thought in our heads. Like it's uh, well, ironically there to inform us in case it has any of it. It's just funny to I, me. You I, know what I mean? Like, I guess theoretically the idea would be the parents get that card and they already know everything, and the kids who are playing the game because video games are only for children uh, would be able to see the actual <laughs> right, card. Right. Um, I just, I want to take a break for a minute to talk about the actual map. I don't really know what's going on here. The kind of, uh, jagged cage lines and decorations and things and this weird blood river. It's a little bit, uh... Can you show the auto map for 10 seconds so I'll actually be able to see it? Yeah. Because it's got fucking... Oh, you know what? It looks like a Christmas tree. I think that's the, the that's probably what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, now it makes more sense. There's some, um, context. Well, thank you for asking me to do that, because if this went from a, you know, what the hell is this map, it looks like crap, to now I totally see why it's doing this. Uh, that is super clever, because you can see the, I'll try to turn off follow mode, um, the bell right here. Uh, yeah. Christmas balls. I'm not sure what this is. Probably like the stand or something. And then it, it's O10 That's and really... boom. So I assume at the top is going to be in a, a kind of big barrel explosion of some kind. It's whenever a map looks weird, and I'm like, what's going on here? My gut instinct has become, check the auto map right away. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, and actually, it's probably color coordinated too. If you if there was an if this was an auto map that it could uh, show the type of texture the ground was, um, it's green. Yeah. And red. Yeah. So. 
if you actually saw it in um, the textured overlay, I bet it would look really cute. <laughs> it yeah. already looks cute, honestly, without it. Once you're done with the map, you'll get the full tree reveal, too. That's cool. Yeah. And there's a candy cane. Standing on it. I gotta you go tell. get more bullets or something. Man, they're doing all this with ten sectors too. I'm surprised. I just am always surprised by how much, how much they managed to get out of those. Yeah, me too. I know I've said that line like five times throughout the recording, but man, I can't help it. It's so, it's really creative. So what am I gonna do here? Can I? I can probably go over here. Almost dead. Death. That was really funny. I love killing things with cane bashing. Cane. Yes, it is wonderful. Now, can I get? I can probably get over here now. There's a mega sphere up on the up, the big candy cane. Up on high. Oh my god! Pain elementals. One percent. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh Are you serious? Oh, come on, dude. I couldn't push through. I don't have any ammo, so... Oh. Wait, no, there's a rocket launcher over here. Hell yes. It looks like that's what you need right now. Yep. Well, I gotta be careful. These screenshots look really cool. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I did switch to my other internet. No, it's not you, it's the size of this planet. It needs to shrink. No, actually, no, it doesn't. God, it's already overcrowded. The world is already pretty small. I have 3% health. Achoo, God. I'm gonna save at 3% health because I'm really smart and tactical. You know, I this is this would be so useless, but I think it would be adorable. You know how on your phone you can see the battery life percentage there at the top? Yep. Oh, I got the, I like, got the mega sphere while a lost soul was charging at me. Oh my god. I'm very proud that of That is a lucky draw. I can't see these these the moment to moment action on Mount Payne's screen, unfortunately. But I um <laughs> We were talking about, oh, um, it, it would be really cute if, if like, an iPhone battery there was. Oh, like, next to the battery, like, on the one side you had the percentage, but on the other side there was a tiny little Doom Guy HUD face that was bloody, like, to represent the oh amount my of God. the battery app. That's, uh, that's an app idea. You should, uh, you should go license that. Dude, get in touch with it and be like, hey, look, just because, I mean, I know those cute little desktop buttons used to be a thing in the 90s, back in, like, Windows 95 and 98. Uh -huh. You put like a little animating button on your desktop. Yeah. And I always kind of liked that. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. It might be a cool little idea for id, like just well, not a 50 cent ad or something. Or yeah. app, you know what I mean? Or, or a free one, because it doesn't need any more money. And I, th I feel like you could, yeah, you're right. somebody could code that in like 30 seconds. Um, and it wouldn't, wouldn't cost anybody anything. I would like a plasma rifle. If that's available. And the high, the resolution on those screens is so high that Doom Guy's face would probably be the right amount of pixels to get next to the battery there. You yeah. Know what I mean? Are Arachnatron uh, eyes usually blue or green? They're usually blue, aren't they? Yes, they are. I made them green for Christmassy. They got little Christmas eyes. I had no idea they were, um, they were even retouched until just now. Just goes to show how uh, very subtle how much I pay attention during recording sessions. Um, I, I pay no, really close subtlety. attention. Okay, I mean, I, honestly, it's kind of like if you were. There's gotta be a plasma rifle under somewhere. There's no secrets in this map. A student who you're in class with, you know, randomly comes in with green eyes rather than brown eyes one day. Are you really gonna notice? I mean, you know. yeah, if it was my friend, I would notice. Although I can't, sure, I can't sure. tell you what eye color most of my friends in my life have had. I would guess just, I would probably just guess brown and most likely be right. <laughs> just I, to go with the most common color and hope it's right. And I know my brother has blue eyes, but like other than that, I actually have a pretty hard time identifying eye color or remembering the eye color. As yeah, yeah, color. it's easy to see, of course, but remembering after the fact that's hard as fuck. Yeah. Okay, so there's no plasma rifle here, I don't think. But I have 460 cells. Oh, wait, there would probably be a BFG, wouldn't there? 
probably gonna get a BFG. Oh, I just realized this is um, slidey ice physics on these. Oh, cool. I'm not sure if there's been enough damaging floor in this map. I'm not complaining. Maybe these all count as damaging floor separately. I can hear an arch file up there, so they better be giving me a BFG here. Or something. Oh. Yes, thank you. Can for I ever show you the full? Thank you for the extra realistic simulation of what an arch file sounds like, which is already uncomfortable. Oh my god. <laughs> Did I send you the full version of the sound? What, the arch file sound? Yeah. I wasn't aware there was a it's full version of it. It's just some guy. Dude, okay. It's some guy in like 1991 or 1992 with a desktop, with clearly a desktop microphone because it sounds crispy and like not even that good. Just yeah. Like, what? Like he's just literally just doing that and it happens to have the arch file sound. Wait, so it's you have the source of the arch file sound. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> well, shit. That's pretty cool. You should comment on Decino's uh, sound effects video, which has heretofore been pretty comprehensive and pretty authoritative. I think he knows about it since. That is so interesting, <laughs> while also being very strange. <laughs> we are almost at the top of the tree. Uh, yep, yeah, there's Spidey. A lot of feedback there from you. Um, oh my god! Oh, you are from me. Just, just for that one second, it was like I, I get little spikes of sound. Look at this, dude! It's a present. It's all wrapped. Oh, that's so cool. That's darling. I love that's that. That's really cute. And that's what the um, that's what these uh, two keys we got at the beginning were for. I did miss two monsters, but I'm not gonna go back. I don't think. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that! Merry Christmas and happy holidays, dude. Those sound explosions that come through every now and then are so weird. I don't even think the sounds either of us actually made. It just goes like, bleh, randomly. Like, yeah. Look at this. It's a smiling arch file with a Santa hat and two presents. Um, there's presents under the tree, too. All right, well, this is awesome. That's so cute. That's really cute. Very fun gimmick. I really, I, I am very satisfied with the outcome of that one. Um, I will say, yeah, not, a not a lot of fun to play through, to be honest. Uh pretty i Fun mean in, it was entirely made around the 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 auto map gimmick which i can get behind for a uh, for both a speed map and a uh, a holiday kind of like you're not supposed to take it super seriously um i will give that one a b with the with the admission that i very much enjoyed the reveal at the end yeah i'm going to go ahead and say the tree was really adorable and honestly i the mapping looked more like up my speed i'm going to give it a b plus I don't want to just clone the Dean's grade. Fair enough. That that because that looked really cute. That that I love auto map art. I've done like I've made maps where it was just a word and I turned the word into an actual map. So I have an affinity for that kind of stuff. Yep, I remember a particularly uh, <laughs> funny one you made out of a word. <laughs> 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 I laughed for a good yeah. sixty seconds when I saw it. Um, okay. <laughs> The next map is is my favorite title in the in the Megawad. It's Grandma Got Jibbed by a Cyber Demon by Blue Pineapple 72, who um, is the project lead. So let's yes. see. This one's going to be very intense. There's 253 monsters. We've got some arch files right in front of us. I did actually... Oh, and of course we've got um, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer in the background. Um, yeah. I think this is going to be the most intense map in the whole set because I played the first few seconds or the first 30 seconds of the map um, in preparation and it was there's a lot going on okay gotta get rid of you there's cyber demons outside so it's doom related so I can say it even though it's on the screen uh, I think the original arch file sound it's six seconds long not ten Okay. And it's not quite as exaggerated as I remember it, but it is, um, I, I have a feeling the person was trying to imitate, like, an evil spirit or something, you know what I mean? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that would, that would be, it would track for Doom, clearly, um, and, and be Just making some, like, ghosty sounds, just going like, you know what I mean? Like, Maybe Bobby was investigating what sounds he could add to the Lost Soul, and, uh, and discovered, uh, 
Well, when they when they didn't have reason to use it for the Lost Soul until later, um, when they needed a sound for the arch file. Yeah, I could have been where it came from. Let me see. What's this archive called? This one was called. So they oh, use sound shit. idea. Oh my god! I just did not need to teleport there. I'm scared. I'm very scared. The Galaxy of Office Home Help Sound Library, the lesser known one that they sound from. Okay. I can hear Luton's oh, dying. I got absolutely destroyed. I got I teleported unexpectedly. Oh, yeah. The one sound effect that came came through clearly was that. It was really funny. Yep, yep. The Lutons, they're 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 about. No, the Lutons are about. Okay, I'd like something a little bigger than a chain gun, if you don't mind. No, the beefy chain gun. The beefy chain gun? Oh, like rather than the regular one, the beefy, the, the dark chain gun? Oh, shit. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be helpful Son right of now. a bitch. Yeah, this one's gonna be tricky, I suspect. But there's a lot going on, and I actually I'm not having any trouble like finding places to run, so that that's good. Please start you know, fighting um, with your mom. Oh I god, why did I do that? Indeed. Why did I do that? Holy shit, dude, this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> no. In fight with something, please. Thank you. I guess maps on average just look better in this era of Doom, but I'm always like, man. Everyone just starts out making decent looking stuff. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people are. There's always this real brief window right. where they make. You right, know what I mean? Because some I'm, people make total dog shit, right? <laughs> wow. Oh would, my god. You know. No, I just. I, I was trying to make a joke, and then in my attempt to time the joke properly, I forgot that I was playing Doom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it and, made and it a little bit funnier to me for what it's worth. Both the joke and the uh, and the Doom performance failed spectacularly. <laughs> um, Sometimes a fail can wrap around and become its own kind of. Oh thing. sure. Especially in a streaming contest where you ought to learn to laugh at yourself a little bit. I'm mm. Still, still practicing that. Oh my god. Yeah, it gets hard. It's hard. It's hard to do even a while in. So, these cookies are pretty Christmassy. There's a Doom World thread about what type of sandwich cookies do you pr Not sandwich, but sandwich with no D. Sandwich, yes, I, I, I saw that thread. <laughs> um, so, I'm curious, my friend, what's your favorite kind of sandwich cookie? Um, off the top of my head, I, I'm not a huge Oreo guy, but I really like the vanilla, the blonde Oreos. That's my own particular. Mm, those are really nice. Those are that's my own particular uh, bias slash preference. I think it's because Oreos, like, okay, I gotta focus a little bit. But the Oreos themselves are um, a little overwhelming. Like, I can have two or three, but after that, it just kind of it becomes like a glue. Um, but it's li for some reason the vanilla is uh, is lighter. Okay, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I I, I love them. Um... Do you like the uh, Do you like the jam ones? Never had one. What do you mean by jam ones? Oh, okay. it sounds that's a really generic term. There's like it's a sandwich cookie that's pressed together with a little bit of cream in the middle, similar to a blonde Oreo. Yeah. But in the middle, there's a circle that's carved out, and there's like a little blob of like sweet red jelly in there. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You've had those ones before? No, I have not. Um, but I, I can picture it, and I think I've seen them. I think I've seen those before. Boy, if you if you're a fan of cookies at all, I, mean, I love those. Sandy mentioned those as the ones that he liked. Oh yeah. In the thread, and I'm like, yeah, that's a, that's the that's the based choice as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Give me the little the little jam dot sandwich cookies any day. I think it was Mr. Mr. Freeze who said um, the mint Oreos, which was a great pick. I really like those as well. They're I do like those a lot. They're harder to find. Is the problem. All these cookies will be at home on on the plate during Christmas time, though. As far as I'm concerned, you can give me the ones where I'm like, you know, I don't like the plain Oreos as much. Someone gives me some plain Oreos, with custom, I'm eating that shit immediately. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm like, uh, it's a variance of uh, <laughs> I like it to I love it. <laughs> you can't really go wrong with cookies and Christmas cookies in general. This is just 
I haven't said much about the map. This is definitely the most intense map so far. The cyber demons are used in a slaughter sense. Tons of revenants. Tons of uh, oh my god! Kind of I just saw the screenshot of ten revenants and a cyber demon. Holy yep, crap. and three pain elementals and some cacos. I am. There's two cyber demons in here actually. Oh come on! Ooh. Oh my god! I saw a rocket come out dangerously close to a revenant. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Come on. Oh good, they're barons. Do you like the bleached lost souls? I actually, I, think, I thought they were like frozen skulls, or like um, they're they're like steely looking. But when I, in, in map one, I actually thought of them as like uh, like icy hot lost souls. <laughs> yeah, they're that's spo a, that's so they're great. spokesmen for the uh, for the athletic product icy hot. They're icy yeah, hot lost icy souls. Hot, At first it's cool, but then it warms. Right. No, no. There's um the uh, like I made those of all things for UAC Rebellion, my old ass. Yeah. Like almost 15 years old Megawatt. And I, um, the reason that they are chrome sort of looking is because I wanted to use the Alpha Lost Souls, but I wanted to put the flame Very on cool. the Alpha Lost Souls. Uh -huh. And I was like, damn, putting the flame on for every frame is just too much fucking effort. So I just ended up recoloring the brown to chrome and was good with that. Oh, all right. <laughs> and then when I was compiling the Christmas assets, I'm like, man, no one's ever done a custom Lost Soul recolor that looks even vaguely Christmassy. So I thought, you know what, that old UAC Rebellion Chrome Lost Soul is pretty good. I'll use that. It's definitely, like, like a, it's, it suits wintry environments. I'm not sure that it would, like, fit on a Christmas tree, per se. Um, but no, it, no, no. It is pretty nice for uh, for winter theme. It's kind of like the dr the green chain gunners. I'm like, you know what, this isn't it fundamentally Christmassy, but with all this other stuff, it fits in better. So I'll... Yeah. Same as the Hell Knights and Barons, like their colors are a little more Christmassy, but like those sprite recolors aren't screaming Christmas fundamentally. You know what I mean? No, I would say that the uh, the the Hell Knights are like snowy, and the um, the Barons are definitely Christmassy because they're green. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is intense. I don't think that chainsaw works anymore. It's completely frozen. Which the chainsaw? <laughs> yeah, it's completely frozen. I don't think the blades would even. That that's a heck of a cold start, <laughs> for those of you who use power yeah. tools. You're gonna have to uh, you have to fall that thing out. Right. Not a huge fan of this labyrinth here. It's at least it's quiet or a little bit quieter out there. There's lots of cyber demons still stomping around. Shit. Now oh, nine percent. That's good. That's, that's... Radical, oh, in fact. Oh nine, oh nine, and that's the N E I N version of nine. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Every time I'm at nine health and I'm running around trying to avoid getting killed, I always think, oh nine, nine, nine. Yes, inglorious bastards. Mhm. Mm such a such a great movie. Oh yeah. Tarantino's... So did you see? I'm... Go ahead. Sorry. No, no, you go ahead. My mine wasn't going to be as interesting. Uh, no, all I was going to say is that it's Tarantino's uh, unheralded masterpiece. I think it's uh, I think it's his best film. It's, it is a great movie. I I probably agree. Um, did you see? Speaking of films, uh -huh. did you see the thread about the what was the outfit called? Like clear glass pictures uh, or something oh yeah sight, sight and sounds top 100 or top 20 films or whatever of the decade yeah i don't know of all time i thought it was well yeah whatever but they, they do it every decade um, they, well, they, right, they keep right. refreshing it i i personally couldn't do it now. um especially because what critics have to say and what esteemed directors have to say is you know it's like it's within the industry it matters to them sort of but, uh, I mean, I kind of, this is going to sound egotistical at first, but I really, I don't, it's not really meant to be, and I don't think ultimately it is. Um, but I only really care about what movies I like, and I will absorb them. I will absorb suggestions from folks, and I'll try to broaden my horizons, but, like, what other people think of movies is not that important to me anymore. It used to be very, very important to me. Um, but I think it's just healthier, and, uh... I don't know. 
something you grow out of, is caring that much about what random critics have to say. You know, it's funny, because I don't actually care that much either, but I did go on a bit of a rant in that thread. Yeah. Because um, some of the picks just struck me as a little bit pretentious or artsy-fartsy for the sake of it, not 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 so much based on merit, but more based on like, just uh... like, oh, this is... Like Jean Deal or Jean Deal, I don't know how to pronounce the lady's name. The no, one that, I, it's a three-hour film about a woman who has sex with strange men and goes about her day. Yes, that one. That, that's that's why. I, like I was like, huh. And I saw like you know, Mr. Freeze was like, I'm glad Tarantino's not on this list. I'm like, eh. I don't think there's any harm in admitting an entertaining film is be does more for you than one that's boring. Like, and some of these look boring. Why would you be glad you know that I mean? Tarantino's not on the list? I don't know because I don't really Tarantino, understand that unless just... you're unless you're of the opinion that Tarantino is overrated, which is a pretty uh, unpopular slash uh, maverick opinion. Uh, I think that might have been what it was. I think Mr. Freeze was going maverick on it. Yeah, I mean he's not Tarantino is not really known. I mean he makes popular movies, but they're also incredibly carefully crafted for the most part. Um, I won't I won't speak for Death Proof. That's the one I haven't seen, but everything from. Uh, Reservoir Dogs on. It's, I don't know. Masterclass in screenwriting at the very least. Well, I thought so too. And it's like, you know, I I wouldn't, I don't know, but Gez gave me a response that I thought was very grounded and reasonable. Okay. Which is, think it's not so much about what films are the best for a casual film enjoyer to it and go and watch a, a film that that is good to watch it's less about like the, the, your gut instinct tells you that's what it should be about but it's more about films that did something of note or of interest or uh, that was repeated or something of that nature so basically by the industry or, so yeah in other words uh, the number one choice was everything but that um, nothing about that movie was I mean, it, it, not that it wasn't repeated in the industry, but it's it's one of those movies that's like, that's the definition of a filmmaker's film or a uh, you know critic a critical darling. Um, I haven't seen the film myself, um, but it does sound very. There's a couple of movies like that where it's you don't hear about it at all except from critics, who are watching you know, these. They're they're watching these movies because they're so basically um, strung out from watching every movie. Um, that they need something completely different, which, I mean, not that it can't be appealing to regular people, but those kinds of movies are generally most appeal to people who watch too many movies and also break down what about movies they like to such an exhausting degree that, like, they can't enjoy it any other way, which is pretty sad if you think about it. That's what it came from. I mean, in like, and of course, Gez wrapped up his post by saying that. You know, these kind of lists are really not worth all that much. Like, don't put too much... You know what I mean? Like, don't put too much stock in it anyway. But... Well, and... Right. Give it... On the same token, Mr. Freeze is a lot of dislike Tarantino. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, so... Sure. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah, and they, I don't even know if that was his point. Just that, uh... Tarantino... I mean, I will say, uh, Tarantino and his stuff are generally, like, so widely acclaimed that it's, like... It's kind of like a thing where you don't even need to say it. You don't even need to acknowledge it. Like no one, no one, no one reading *Sight and Sound* is going. Oh, you, you introduced me to this, a new filmmaker I hadn't heard of before named Quentin Tarantino. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Like, what, what, what a promising upstart. I hope he has a great career. Yeah, ever. exactly. Yeah, no, it's. I um, Ooh, but I just I thought it was weird. interesting because you're. T we we did mention films and stuff, and I. Uh, you know, take, how about Grandma got ran over by a reindeer? Where does that sit on your? Uh... <laughs> nice transition, ace transition. Um, I think that. <laughs> I think. I, th <laughs> I think. I think Grandma got run over by, by a reindeer is an essential song here once per holiday season. Why did I pick that up? Um, it is. And now we're getting it. Yeah, I'm, I'm hearing it a lot in my ear right now, and it's not. Uh, it's not my favorite uh, repeated track I've ever heard in the Doom map. <laughs> um, especially because it's like kind of a bum, 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 weird version. Yeah, of... it has that deliberately. It's meant to be like two minutes, not yeah, you know, like not played over and over again as I struggle to deal with basic slaughter. I love that when the fun little ditty becomes like 
the song of driving someone insane while they're strapped to a chair for Doom maps. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I've been the there. The idea of someone going, no! Like slamming their keyboard while this happy little ditty plays in the background is so funny to me. It is pretty funny that, like, it can make you play worse the more you focus on it. Luckily, it's not very loud. I can't really hear it. But, uh, <laughs> if it was playing at, like, two notches higher, I would, I would not be, I would not be so cool right now. <laughs> Uh, the, it's, it's actually quite gruesome, but the image of someone being driven insane by like an overly happy, vapid song <laughs> is just too amusing to me for some. I don't know why. Because you're you're a sadist, you enjoy the suffering of others. That's what that that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't. If I actually saw it happening to someone, I would immediately like oh, yeah. unstrap them from the chair and turn the radio off. But, obviously, like, yeah. obviously, you're not a sadist. It, Man, so I don't you know, know why I fucking. I need to specify, dude. The whole crowd, you know, they're like, "Well, we already knew Doom Kid was a sadist. Here's well. the proof." <laughs> I just need to, dis you know, I need to dissipate those. Uh... Right. <laughs> you know, it, it's like um that episode of Black Mirror where the guy, uh, the 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 AI person, the the AI uh, perfect copy of the person, is uh, stuck in a, a snow globe house for millions of years while uh. A Christmas song plays over and over and over and over again on loop. Um, this is the song that he would be oh, stuck God. in eternity. Have you seen Black Mirror before? I've seen a, I've seen at least like ten or twelve episodes, but I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, I man. think it was the end of season two, so you might have seen it. It depends. Really I have seen up. Uh, I have seen some good ones, but that one that one I missed somehow. <laughs> I have to watch that one. Well, it's it's it's, a, it's super Christmassy. It would get you. It would get you in the spirit. Not my fan, dude. I'm up to show like whenever I'm having like a movie night with the family, I'll, I'll just put that one on and see how it goes over yeah, for the Christmas show. It's called Black Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Black Christmas. Yeah, one of those. It's it's got Christmas in the title. You'll love it. It's a way of life. <laughs> it's a way of life. You love it. <laughs> Dude, I, uh, hey, I'll buy you a pizza is a recurring, like, quote in Sandy's dreams uh, at this point. Oh, yeah, because of the Papa John Only between John Sandy thing. and I. Dude, no, yeah, no one else, like, Wilster, Snacks, and no one else gets it, but Sandy. Oh, right, it's the know. farting, it's the farting underwear marines again. Yes! Oh, I just noticed they grasp their, uh... They grasp their nuts when they're shot. You shoot their nuts off. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's quite mean, actually. That's inhuman. <laughs> Blame the guy who made the pantless dude skin. We all know which the I love. Kid loves I love pantless, pantless dudes. Dude. Yeah. Yes, he can't. He can't get enough pantless dudes. No, I've got. I've for years, for the last twenty years of my life, I've been admiring pantless dudes in Doom servers. He's been admiring them from afar, but he'd like to admire them up close someday soon. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so fucking juvenile. <laughs> it's, 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 dude, it, it, that's the best. playing Doom like with, in this setting. That's the best way to go. Good. We are nearly done. Um, this actually it ended much more calmly than it began. Um, this luckily, map particularly. Yeah, m most of the um, the arch files showed up in the beginning. Most of the arch files and cyber demons were active the entire time. This was definitely like a like a playground type of map. Um, I think if I w was focusing a little bit more, this wouldn't be nearly as difficult as I made it look. Um, so definitely don't uh, don't think that this was like an overwhelming challenge. It was it was probably the, the previous toughest one was uh, Man with Guns. I, I I still think that one's that one's tougher. Uh, Man with Guns map was. Uh, significantly more uh, stressful than this one. Having some uh, some Merry Christmas. Uh... Are, you, are you enjoying your uh, your eggnog over there, Doom Kid? I saw that status bar and I thought, you know what? That looks like a good idea. <laughs> 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 Having some, sampling some of the, the holly leaf. <laughs> 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 god, that would probably be like poisonous. It'd be oh my terrible. god, it would be terrible. I think I'm supposed to do this. I'm not really sure. Oh wait, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm supposed to kill these guys. Oh, you gotta kill the farting marine. Oh, well, it actually looks like I was supposed to do this. This is the exit. Alright. Grandma got jibbed by a cyber demon. Winner of the best title in the Megawad, for sure. Um, Blue Pineapple did an excellent, excellent job at making a well-balanced um, 
seemingly normal like Doom map that could have showed up in any community project under the bare, the bizarre uh, constraints um, that they came up with of the five Arch Files and four Cyber Demons or however many. I've probably said the wrong number multiple times. Um, Three Arch Files, two farting Doom guys, and a Mount Payne who is confused. Indeed. And these haven't even been that confusing. I'm just a, a bear of very little brain. Um, <laughs> so That's bullshit. <laughs> it's a little funny to say, though, and I, I like the phrase bear of very little brain. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll give that one an A-. Um, I, I think it's pretty clear by this point that these grades are localized um, entirely within this megawatt. Um, God, <laughs> why? Why is Steam Dams reference of all things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's just amusing to me. Um, I said because I, I thought of the word localized, and that's where my brain went. Um, Dude, it's that word is corrupted at this point. It really is. Same. Well, yeah. There's a lot of words that are corrupted from Steam Tams. I'll give that one an A minus for difficulty as well. What did you think, Doom Kid? I'm gonna give that one a B plus for blue pineapple. No, no, that's actually stupid. No, no. Okay, actually, <laughs> um, the the the. The real, it was a really good map. Um, I, you know, didn't, I only got to see probably about 30 screenshots of the map. I didn't actually get to see the, so I don't want to give too much, but I really liked what I saw. Going by Mount Payne's description, the difficulty curve was a little weird, but I might actually go with a B plus. I, I'm, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Yep. Uh, Blue Pineapple will know I mean that in a loving way, I'm sure, if he sees this. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we are kind of handicapped by our, our, lack of proximity um you know this is we're, sure. we're a long way from an lan connection um between uh australia and pennsylvania is pretty uh, pretty uh vast distance but I, it's it's good that you can at least <laughs> sort of see what's going on and also i think we made it pretty clear by this point that the grades are just for fun all tongue-in-cheek and i've i've enjoyed pretty much every map i've played so far that was really good. I had a lot, I had a great time actually like recording this with you. Oh, we're not we're not done. Off. We got two more. Just so you know. Oh, what? I thought this was the final map. What yeah. the fuck? Sorry, I I did not lead into that very well. But there are uh, there are two more. Um, the next one is Lumps of Coal by Black Shuck ninety seven. If my notes are to be believed. Oh, I love um, this MIDI. Oh, me too. It's phenomenal. I've actually only ever associated it with kind of creepy maps, though, so... This is by far the, um, the spookiest Christmas MIDI so far. It's, um, from GoldenEye. Famously saw use in, uh, Tangerine Nightmare, map 2, and... Um, map 13 of 180 MPV, the other French wad. As well, I love this song in Goldeneye and in its Doom form as well. It's such a cool tune. Never played Goldeneye actually. Oh really? That's a good game. I'm not nearly as big on it as I am like Doom, but it's one of the old in the old bin of Nintendo carts. Goldeneye's in there, and it's worth putting in. You know what I mean? Yeah, Goldeneye kid never really uh, rolled off the tongue as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wasn't as into it to be fair. I, I like the three. I remember. Because I didn't, for whatever reason, Quake eluded me a lot of the time as a kid. Like, for me, the big sequel to Doom 2 was Duke Nukem 3D, oddly. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. Well, that's a fair. neighbor of mine, uh, well, a neighbor of mine had Duke Nukem and gave me this TD. He was just like a nice dude. He's like, here you go. And I was like, whoa. And I, I loved it. It felt like a huge, I thought it was like built on Doom's engine as a kid. I thought it was like the biggest, most intense Doom mod ever, to the point where it was its own new game. You know what I mean? Well, I would say Duke probably. I mean, I've never really played any Duke Nukem, but I've seen enough gameplay of it, and I know like what its ethos is. I think, and it it seems to me like it borrows more from Doom in terms of like the high intensity, um, like kind of gritty gameplay and and high powered weapons compared to Quake. Um, which was more about movement and uh, less about monster variety and less about uh, even less about atmosphere, to be honest. It's funny, yeah. My my trajectory with FPSs was like Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Goldeneye, and so even though it was actually like a year after Quake had already done it, I saw the same type of 3D models in Goldeneye that you see in Quake, and I was like, wow, yeah. this is incredible. You know what I mean, well, Goldeneye, is little... Goldeneye is like Halo sort of because it was it was a, it was a console game and it, it slowed down the fps a little bit 
Um, not that it was slow paced, but it slowed it down so that you could play it on a controller. Um, yes, yeah. That's, that's always how I've kind of considered it. It's fun to play with mouse and keyboard too. As a kid, I kind of always wished I could play it with a keyboard, which is part of why I didn't play it as much, I think. You know what I mean? I would probably play Goldeneye if I could play it on a mouse and keyboard. Is there like a port for it, or can you? Is there like is there a computer port for it? By now, I'm sure there is. I'll I'll seek that. We'll we'll get that. The only reason we're talking about it so much is because the MIDI. It's funny. They got it. Yeah. Well, so far this is. This um... map is. Go ahead. I'm gonna say this map is really like cavernous and eerie in a cool way. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a North Pole storage facility or something. This is where, I'll, actually, this is called Lumps of Coal, so maybe this is where the coal that they're going to put in Bad Kid's stocking sits before Santa ships it out. That's why it has the, like, saddest MIDI or, like, oh, eeriest wow. MIDI of them all. That, that makes perfect sense, dude. I like how we developed lore for it, like, on the fly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's just a big storage container, storage facility. Um, I guess, like, the Holly ones are, like, the good, like, the good kids get this shit. Um, the bad kids yeah. get the, the boxes of UAC brand coal. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, I'm disappointed that Santa Claus would outsource the big coal. He can't even like brew <laughs> his own coal. Like that's that's a that's a that's low, Mr. Claus. Big coal, you know. It, it is also beautiful and clean. So indeed, you know. it's adjacent to big but plasma. You know, I was just going to say, as, as a know, representative I, of Big Plasma, represent. you have very little room. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. I, it's, I, I never, ever endorse products I don't use, so... That's that's true. I can... See, you know, people... I, I'm 100% behind Big Plasma because I've had hours and hours of profitable plasma gun usage and, and will freely be their ambassador. Do you think of the amount of cells shot every year you know, fired from a plasma gun? That, that requires a production line, and only big plasma can fill that need, you know? That's right. I mean, we're going to forget about the fact that it's eating away 13% of our ozone layer every year, but... You know, but that's <laughs> minor details. Minor details. Right, that, can, that can be overlooked, 100%. This is cool. <laughs> the fact that we're gonna die as a result of it, no problem. That's you know what? That's the next generation's problem, not my problem. <laughs> With, not my know, I've never been accused in thirty years. I've heard people being accused of uh, associated with big coal here, uh, with big <laughs> plasma. Never have I been associated with being. Uh, you know, no one has ever accused me of being a uh, a puppet of big vanilla, because they know <laughs> that I everything is home sourced, grown locally. It's all, <laughs> every line def, done with care. Well, you know Big Vanilla has no money in it. There, there is no Big Vanilla. Vanilla is like the, the incarnation of like Small Business Month or Small Business Day. Um, you know, when, they, when, they do, when they do shopping uh, designations. There's going to be, I mean, it used to just be Black Friday, if I can change the subject. It used to, the subject. Sure, sure. It used to just be Black Friday. Now it's Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Small Business Tuesday. There's going to be one for every day of the week and not too long a time. Um, and then probably into the next week. Oh, shit, where did the arch So from? infuriating because Black Friday itself is really picking up. It's really taken off over here. So you know that although it'll be ten years later, Australia is slated to follow the exact same shitty fucking trajectory. That is, a, that is a shame. Black Friday, the whole concept of it is so. I never liked that kind of thing. Nor like, did I. Hey, everyone, rush and spend more money. That's just... How does it feel to watch your country um, follow trends, follow the shittiest trends of our already? slowly devolving country <laughs> <laughs> Australia has been you know there's a few countries there's probably like four or five countries that orbit the US culturally uh -huh. but also Australia has a big tie an old tie to English culture but it's like nowadays everyone's right. got their eyes in the US yeah but um uh, you know it, it's it's a shame because you know there's so much about American and Australian culture that I love sure and uh <laughs> seeing really stupid trends that serve that don't serve the masses any benefit catch on like like Black Friday type shit. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I'm happy. 
By the way, anyone who wants to sponsor Black Friday stuff, uh, oh my, my Doom Kid YouTube channel, uh, I'll make that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if we went so far to the dark side as to be plugging just like sales and oh look at that sliding corpse that was a thing of beauty um if we if we if we descended so far down into the pits of hell that we would uh you know run run ads on our doom channels for just like retail shit okay please mount pain you know with... pull yourself together and stop dying please the people see this is the, the people are counting on you you fool <laughs> So you're talking about going to the dark side and selling out as a Doom tuber. I um, <laughs> see. This is one of the benefits of being a loudmouth, whereas you're like a uh, really, uh, you know, you're very intelligent and your channel is well put together. I just throw shit at the wall, and so no one's coming to me for that kind of stuff. I don't even. The temptation's not there for me to need to avoid. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think you are being a little bit. Uh, you're, you're being fairly modest um, because you are. Strictly speaking, a bigger channel than I am, first of all. Um, but also, your videos are not as slapadash as you make them sound. That was not good. No, I'm just joking. I'm just leaning into it for the joke. I, I, I think people know I put effort. In. They would know if it was. No. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's get rid of these arch files. Focus more on my, it's on the topic to again to shoulder off onto another topic. Um, I um, I think. Uh, you know, I've been focusing more on, like, getting Jamal Jones-type stuff done. I haven't done any YouTube videos for, like, six weeks now. It's, it's, it's actually bad. I need to do more. But, it's it's uh, been a while, but yeah. you, you <laughs> haven't disappeared by any stretch. You did a, you did a lot of stuff this year. You, you did multiple um, Let's Play recording uh, series. Um, we, we finished Plutonia. You got pretty far through Alien Vendetta. You played all of Jamal Jones. Um, so, yeah, I don't think your channel is wanted for content this year. Oh, well, that's good. And when this goes, when this airs, people will finally uh, get something new here as well. That'll yep. Be good. Yep. I always find it strange to talk about the stream while it's being streamed, but that is. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean to go so meta. I'm sorry. Well, that that's just inevitable. I mean, it's inevitable because like, oh, <laughs> these Santa Claus scared the shit out of me. <laughs> They just showed up like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mer Mer Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> We're in pieces. Merry Christmas. Oh, my God. Oh, dear God. This is crazy. But it's yet another um, well-used involve. i got to take care of these guys. They're going to have real problems. Later. Oh, I already had a mega sphere. Damn. Come on. Oh, you know what? Blue pineapple. This is the CAC Awards, of course, just went live, you know, 12 yes. to 15 hours ago or so. Um, the blue pineapple was, was very well deservedly given a good mention. You know what I mean? Um, which, remind me, was that, was that for, um, shit, I, I forget that, was it, oh, you know what, it was the alien, uh, the ancient aliens, like, mapping at warp speed, was that, was that, was that, was that eh, what it was called? Oh, they're working on, I think that's one that they're working on now, if I'm not mistaken? Something about warp speed was mentioned. E either way, Blue Pineapple has done some, such cool themed projects with the Puss series, I'm really glad to see him get a well-deserved mention. You know, I, I, that's, that's excellent. Oh yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. I, um, <laughs> I am a huge sucker for ongoing, like, themed, um, speed mapping projects. Um, I do like the Doomer Board series. I like the French Toise d'Agonie series. Um, I mean, I like this series. I just don't get enough, I, I don't get a chance to play enough of them. Oh my God. Look at all those. Look at all those bony boys. <laughs> just sitting there. They can't even move. They're just a they're just a gateway. Or a, a, what do you call it? A um A door like a, a obstacle. Yeah, yeah, an obstacle. Thank you for being my brain while I play. Now I know uh, it's, I, it's I, okay. I now know exactly how you felt playing um Plutonia. 
was oh, yeah. Yeah. really tricky. It was. It was very tricky. You um, All oh, right, I got 100% kills for once. I don't Lumps think most people will judge your... I got a few people judging my performance, but not many. So I don't think you get too many people. No, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I'm mostly worried about wasting time. I don't care if people think I'm a bad player. That's... <laughs> that's that's more their problem than my problem. Um, that one was unexpectedly really good. I, I opened that up and played through the the crate beginning and um, like a couple of days ago and didn't I wasn't that excited to play it. But I, I love how that one developed. Um, I love the huge fight at the end with the invuln. Um, wasn't too challenging. Was very exciting. Um, and I, I love that the we, the the lore that we came up with for this map really added a lot to it. Uh, this being like a, I can't help but wonder if we were just reading what was there in front of us, you know, or, or if we came up with it entirely. That's that's. A well, good it's question, only it's though. it's called lumps of coal. It's not called like Santa's coal factory or anything like that. So yeah, that's true. That's true. It's the sad one because it's where all the bad kids get their shit from. That's that's that. I love that. So what's a, what's the last? We got one more on the. We have on one more. Roster. Yes, um, and I'm giving that one an A minus for the record with a B plus difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and give that one a, an A minus too. I'm All gonna. Right. I'm actually gonna go ahead and echo your grade because I liked the uh, the you know the visuals of it and the MIDI pairing did create a lot of atmosphere for me as far as you know as far as I'm concerned. Sounds good. Alrighty. So without further ado, Frostbite is the next map by Exaro Gamer or Gamer. I don't. I, I don't actually know. Um, only 56 enemies in this one. Um, this one is pretty short and uh, ends pretty abruptly, but we'll, we'll see what you think. Feliz Navidad is playing in the background. I'm surprised it's actually taken that long for this one to show up. Another Christmas song that I would be perfectly happy if I only heard once a year. Um, it is a little bit overplayed. <laughs> Sorry, I, I found out what the name of the... Um, the mapper is. Um, I need to revise my statement. Exo Pro Gamer. No, it's it's X Pro Gamer, not. I I, I said like X a Pro Gamer. Yeah, I I, I, can't, I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> it's a programmer. I, I I can't read my handwriting. I wrote the wrong thing down, and it's a much more basic name than I thought. Like it's 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 not that complicated. He was not trying to hoodwink anybody. <laughs> so okay. As you can see, this is basically just a big room with all the monsters that needed to be in the in the set, just kind of you know thrown together with a couple of invulns. It's really not much to this, it. This looks like the lowest effort. <laughs> yeah, I look at all these cyber demons and arch files just next to each other. This is this is I, I made a map just like this when I think I was about nine or ten years old. Yep, that's uh. That's the impression I got, is that it's maybe not made by a 9 or 10 year old, but wouldn't take much more effort than a 9 or 10 year old would be willing to invest. Just big glaciers on either side, and cyber demons, and pain elementals wandering around. It was literally one corridor. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Not much more to I'm say. I'm not trying to. We're not trying to dunk on X Pro Gamer. No, it's kind of like what we saw earlier. That map with the that was just like you open a door and get a key, and then open another door and get a key, and the last room was just a shitload of monsters. I, I don't know. Like, I I would not. Be map. I wouldn't reject this map by any stretch from the project, just because I don't know. It's still a big snowy map with monsters to kill. There's, there's still some fun to be had here. Mm -hmm. I the like I, you know the textures and the theming carries it a bit too you know it, it actually feels this would feel like a boring open field if it was just Doom Two assets with D underscore Sean playing you know what I mean but you with are, this you, you are correct Doom Kid your assets are excellent <laughs> you did a good job <laughs> that's not at all what I'm trying to say no no it's not I like this map is good because wasn't... of uh, the Christmas music and because of the the stuff that I put in it basically. That is not at all what I meant. No, I didn't even do like 98% of the sprite work wasn't me. No, it was I know. Not, I don't want to take credit for it. I know. I'm just jerking your chain. No, no, no. I just mean like a themed, any themed pack, regardless of who, who put it together, <laughs> could help carry what would have been a, you know, middling map originally. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, that is it, actually. That's the whole map, and that this is the exit. Just pressing on the door uh, finishes off. Dude, the face, there was a little cute fucking face on the map that I, I don't know if you saw. I, I, I must have missed it. I'll put it on the screen if I see it in post. Um, but yeah, then after that, it's just the, uh, the curtain call. All right. Let's see. Does it have any custom names? Anything custom here? No, no, just. Don't just think so. Daisy. Just, uh, <laughs> just Daisy's head on a tree. How wonderful. Which Sandy was like blown away by that when he saw that the other day. He's like, "What is that?" Yeah. Remember? That yeah, was he, so he was. Funny. He was very surprised. For the record, I am gonna give Frostbite a D minus. Um, not a whole lot to like there. Um, you said D minus. Yeah, just not not a failure because none of these are gonna fail. But I, I, I just there's not a whole lot to that map. Um, difficulty... I'm gonna give it a D plus. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. D plus for Doom Kid. Difficulty C for me. Um, I'm gonna give it a D plus because some really handsome, good-looking dude used put the assets together that were used on that map. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm giving it a D plus because I uh, ex pro gamer doesn't you know I want to give him a passing grade. Yep. Fair enough. Um. So we'll we'll toggle through these. Oh my god, I am just in love with that Cacodemon ball. It's so fun. <laughs> you know, in what the the coolest thing is, I think that is one of the oldest Christmas assets. That Cacodemon ball. It looks great. Like everything about it looks great. The uh, the shattering yeah. animation, the the way it, it's it's shrunk proportional to its uh, thing, um, like to to its regular uh, proportions. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's great. That's cool. The paint elemental one looking different is cool too, though, because it makes it like on a real tree, the balls look kind of different all the time. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, so yeah. It's, Definitely. That's, it's great. That's... Oh, the marine's covered in snow. Well, I didn't even know that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's cool. Just to you know, everything is Christmassy, even the Doom guy. So I'm just gonna lower the volume on the sound to zero, or else there's gonna be a. Super shotgun playing in the background over and over. Um, yeah. We <laughs> so, I think my favorite was probably. Well, it's. I mean, if I have to pick one, um, Picata Mizumiz's map, Christmas Boom. Um, very colorful, very pretty, and exciting. Um, it was like the most, the most upbeat and most Christmassy map in the set, while being. Um, its ingenuity was excellent because it had the lowering floors and the uh, like. It managed to make the with under the ten sector limit. It made the the outdoor landscape feel nice and cozy. It had that little village in the beginning. Um, I think that was probably my my favorite map. I feel pretty confident about that. Um, as for you, um, you gave an A to Death Bears Underhalls uh, deck the Underhalls. Which would probably mm -hmm. be my that would probably be my salutatorian. Um, so Doom Kid's valedictorian um, is Deck the Underhalls by Death Bear. Do you remember that one? Yes, I do. I do. It's a good map. Yep, that it's was, a great. It's a great map. Super exciting. I think I'd pick that one. Like I said, I think that I'd make that my salutatorian because I remember having a lot of fun in that. Um, it wasn't unduly difficult. Only a B plus. Um, the visuals weren't quite as striking as some of the other maps, but it, it, I mean, it did its job, and I, I, I tend to really like Death Bear's stuff in terms of gameplay. So, Picatum's map. Do you remember what I what grade I gave that? Do you have that listed there? Yeah, you gave that an A minus. Um, so the the three A minuses that I think you gave out are. Uh, you remember the guy who with the the the, the Christmas party map, uh, Corvatunturi Corvatun Corvatun Massacre by Mumi. Um, the one with the million mm. cacodemons at the end, you gave that an A-. minus. Um, I like yeah. that one, um, except for the very end. Um, you gave Christmas Boom by, P by Picatum um, an A-, minus, and you gave Lumps of Coal an A-, minus, the one we just played today. Yeah, okay. I think those are deserved grades. Which, um, did you have a, a particular second favorite? I would say Picatum's, of the three. That were that were A minuses there. I would definitely say Picatums is the one that stands out in my memory the clearest. Uh, a lot of uh, so much character and personality in that map. Uh, absolutely. Cool. Well, it looks like we basically just went. We we <laughs> like a lot of our grades where I gave a B, you gave a B plus, I gave an A minus, you gave an A. 
Um, I gave an A minus, you gave a, a B plus. Uh, we, we kind of we flipped our, our one and two, and uh, we can kind of agree that those are our two favorites. Um, yeah. Class president, um, on top of the cruelty by Man with Gun, uh, not no doubt in my mind. Um, that that map wasn't the most slaughtery, but it was the most um, it, it it put it put the screws to you in terms of supplies, um, and in terms of the the whole environment wanted to kill you. Um, it was as cold as the Siberian winter. Um, not the hardest map I've ever played by any stretch, but um, I definitely uh, it, I, I don't know. It like didn't have a, it wasn't exactly oozing Christmas spirit. A solid map though, in general. Um, I think I would enjoy it a lot more on replay. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's good. Um, and then I guess now nah, we're not gonna give a dunce cap today. There's no point. I mean, we could, we could, because I mean, we could we could make a joke and get make it the Santa hat. The Santa hat goes to well, we all know it's gonna be uh, X Pro Gamer. Lol. No, I was thinking I was thinking me uh, for my periodic poor play. <laughs> and me for my uh, p poor uh, commentary. No, no. I'm <laughs> well, I mean. How, how do you want to wrap this up, man? Because I think uh, I'm done playing, and uh, we've got... We were out of maps, so I think that's a wrap. I need to get launch in a minute. I need to, I need to get late launch in a minute. That's a, uh, that's I... a, that's a, a wrap on Christmas. Um, to, my, my, like, uh, to, my it's a, final a, thoughts on the one? I need to get lunch in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get late lunch. Um... <laughs> Uh, that's a gift wrap on our Christmas special. Um, it, it was really fun. It was a great one, and I had a, a really good time sitting in with you and playing and, and talking. I now consider us all square in terms of uh, backseat gaming. Um, I, I, you, were, <laughs> yeah. you were much more uh, pleasant to me than I was to you at times, although I wasn't mean or anything. I just. Uh... <laughs> so you're saying I'm better at backseating than you are? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So any any Canadians listening out there who have perverted minds can um, do what that statement what they will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Doom Kid received my back seating better, I think. <laughs> <laughs>